Hey guys, and welcome to a very special two and a half hour podcast type show. Me, Spence, and John all got together and we just decided to start chatting and shooting the shit and uh, created this uh, podcast type thing. It's a little fun. You know, we were just trying to experiment and uh, see if we can uh, create something new and enjoyable for all of you guys. So, literally, um, we, we recorded two, and I'm editing them together. We recorded the first one, and, uh, you know, it was a little stiff because we had the cameras on, and we were recording, and you already know how that whole deal went. And uh, it, it came out good. It was a good podcast. But, you know, just talking about uh, Bitcoin and crypto and, and, and uh, price action and all this other stuff, uh, and it was really great and wonderful. But I'm going to put that at the end. What you guys are going to watch now is literally what I recorded afterwards because after we recorded the first episode you know we were all just chatting about and stuff like that and I decided you know what let me push the record button and uh, record this and see how it goes and I did and we talked for another hour uh, and some and uh, it was interesting in fact it was such a good conversation that I had to edit some of it out because uh, you know we talked about certain things that we shouldn't be talking about just because of YouTube and you already know we're just trying to respect the whole YouTube uh, rules so I had to edit a little bit out, but other than that, it was an awesome and wonderful, hilarious conversation that I think, uh, you know, was really funny, and I hope you guys enjoy, and then after you watch that, immediately after that, it's going to cut to the the original podcast, and uh, again, there's a huge chance for you guys to let us know what you guys think. Please, leave comments down below, and uh, let us know what you guys thought of the whole show, you know, what you guys liked, what you didn't like, if you like this new format. Um, I'm also trying to figure out what's the best day to upload this. I want to do one of these a week, uh, and um, and also to show you guys that I'm, you know, I, you know, I'm part of the community. Meaning, you know, you guys always see me interacting with you guys in the community. But, you know, again, you see we're making all kinds of stuff. So here, you know, with, this is two people that are, you know, definitely in the in my community and in the whole crypto community, uh, and uh, we're just, just chatting about having fun. So please let us know what you think. Leave some comments below. And I hope you guys enjoy this whenever you're watching it. Um, I'm uploading it Friday, so you guys can enjoy the weekend. But again, leave comments below, okay? Please, 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 please let me know what you think so I can make uh, the best possible content for you guys that I can, especially when it comes to this, okay? All right, without further ado, I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the video and um, the podcast. Again, this is... Uh, preferable to listen you know it's a audio format but again um there's pictures and all kinds of stuff so you guys can watch it and enjoy it but you're not going to be missing out anything if you're just not watching and listening that's why i called it a podcast i sure talk a lot and i've already been talking like all day today not just including these two and a half hours all right i'm gonna shut the fuck up because lambo's getting restless <laughs> enjoy later so that makes sense yeah. yeah, east of... I'm near Redmond. Hey, you know what I was just thinking right now? Where Microsoft is. You know what I was just thinking right now? Like, this this should be the podcast, you know, what we're doing right now. But whatever, I guess it's too late. You know, just uh, let's just keep chatting and eating shit, you know? I don't know. I, I think, um, like, like, for me, when I know, like, I'm on a record, I, I just fucking, like, uh, think too much about what I'm Try to say it, not to sound stupid, but I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't yeah. be talking like this. It's very difficult for me to. Uh, I'm like censoring myself in a way because I don't want to sound like. I don't want to get any like kind of fucking people going crazy because I've said something which is completely wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's normal. I mean, I mean, it just takes time to get comfortable with knowing that you're being recorded. But um, yeah. But yeah, but I mean, it's uh, it's it, after a while it gets natural because at least for me, like, uh, it took a while. You know what I mean? Like, it really did take a while. I mean, if you guys can go back on my old crypto videos, I mean, I fucking I, I cringe when I look at that shit. I'm like, holy fuck, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, fuck, I don't know how John has been. Uh, you know, John's been a, John's been watching me since the beginning. So like, I don't know how the fuck you you fucking watched me back then, brother. But hey, I love you, man. That's why I love you so much, man. You're fucking awesome, man. Um. Well, I mean, I, I tuned into you when you were, you know, at the desk doing crypto stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, I actually miss kind of some of that stuff. Like, so I don't know. I like, I like old Jose. 
Oh yeah, what do you, you yeah? Old, you like old Jose? What do you like about old Jose? Uh, I just like old Jose when sitting at the desk and talking about crypto. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like my new my new environment? By the way, babe, I, I'm just uh, uh, I mean, I'm I trying like to kill the, some uh, flies out here. If I'm, if I'm a little distracted, I'm just killing flies. Ah uh, yeah. But anyways, but what do you mean? Like, uh, what, what uh, you don't like uh, my new office? Oh, that's all right. I you mean, see, I'm telling yeah. you, man, that the whole fucking okay, L.A. Yeah, feel, I, man. It's all about the L.A. feel. Just because I was in fucking L.A., all of a sudden, like, it's like, oh, this guy's serious. This guy's L.A. As soon as I moved to Mexico, I was like, wow, this fucking Mexican. He probably don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, it's the L.A. So effect. True. I need a green screen, man. I need a green screen. It's so true. Like, that's the way people think. Like, they don't listen. They just look at what's going on. They, like, tune out straight away. No, for me, it's just, um, I don't enjoy the Mexico content as much. Um, I, I find some of it interesting and fascinating, and I enjoy uh, some of it. It's just, I started following you for the crypto stuff, so. Uh, yeah, you, you yeah, do, you it's just, what it is. It was the same for me, like, it's just the, the passion that you had for it, like, kind of made me feel like you uh, definitely knew what you were going on about, and. You know, it was just one of those things when she was a no-brainer. Oh, man, that makes me feel nice. That makes me feel really good, man. Thanks. I really appreciate it, man. Fuck. <laughs> no, yeah, but, I, but, I, but, but, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I love making that crypto stuff. I really do, and I'm trying. But it's just, uh, I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm just, like, addicted to making stuff. And, like, it's really cool mm -hmm. the fact that, you know, I was making those Mexico videos, and they were getting so many views, and I was getting all these new people. And, like, some yeah, of them, you know, I'm like, there's a lot of them so. in the audience that, you know, right now, that they fucking love. You know, they're, they're learning about crypto, and they're asking yeah. me about this stuff, and it's, like, really cool. And, like, um, and I'm trying, you know? Like, I, I mean, I'm trying to just, um, oh, I don't know, oh, to satisfy everybody. <laughs> I got dogs farting right oh, here. Is that so. what that was? Is that what, is that, was that a dog farting? No, oh, that was me reacting to my dog farting. It was oh. just like, oh, God. <laughs> so bad like oh yeah well, dog farts are the worst bro yeah I, I was I mean it's my fault I gave him these pressed rawhides yeah. yesterday to, just to keep him busy and now I'm paying for it today <laughs> <laughs> but you know like I, what, uh, I, what I'm trying to do is like I'm trying to do like have you seen recently I'm walking around and talking a little bit more crypto or talking about you know the same shit you guys like but just like uh, by walking around Mexico and uh, yeah I'm trying to do that because like I don't know I like the whole walking around feel you know it makes me i don't know it's cool why and so like yeah yeah as long as uh i don't know whatever why don't you um do something where you find like local businesses that like would accept some fucking crypto oh man like, that's too much fucking people. work bro i mean what do you mean like uh no i don't mean like advertise it i mean this kind of, there must be some places that you can like utilize using it some way like, i mean i i've thought of that already but the thing is it's like this the the the, the truth is that, like according to the numbers i mean and the reality because i live out here 93 percent of the mexican you know economy is um is cash so i mean introducing bitcoin it'll be great and wonderful but it's like i gotta i gotta be honest i've been i mean i've been talking about that ever since i moved out here to mexico i should do something like that uh, but man, but it's like i don't what, I, I got no economic uh incentive to do something like that and like right now i need to make money so that i can survive and like i'm gonna be honest you know like uh, i would love to do something like that but you know we all need to do have some economic incentive i'm just being 100 percent honest like and I, and, and I don't do anything for the money i don't but like i mean but still like there are you know what i mean like that's something right now that like i, I think I'm, I'm better i would rather I would rather dedicate my time to making videos and content for you guys than trying to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it would be it would it would be something which I would definitely be interested in. If, for example, that you just found like a a local ATM in your local area. Yeah, but there ain't no local ATM. There's no local big big ATM. Exactly, but but if there if there was one or anything that comes up, like and you cover it, kind of, say it would obviously. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's any no, crypto. No lies, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I try to crypto, you know, I try, I would try to cover some crypto shit out here, but there's no real crypto anything really. Exactly. I mean, that, that's all I meant. I think yeah. you're, you definitely, uh, as soon as you do start seeing these things, you'll, you'll verge both like parts of your, um, your audience, which you try to uh, attract, which will be what you're talking about being implemented in an environment which you're in. So I think you're in the right spot. You're just building your audience in a minute. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of people out there. I mean, just look at Joe Rogan alone. 
you know, Joe Rogan, you know, he fucking does all kinds of shit. So, like, I'm, like, thinking to myself, well, why not? Why can't I do all kinds of shit, you know? Um, I'm, res- I'm respected in, you know, in the certain circles in the crypto community. Um, I'm still going to be, I mean, I'm still going to have that knowledge and do all those things. I mean, you got to remember, like, for example, I don't do crypto videos every day now. But, you know, who the fuck does? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, at least I'm still making, you know, like now the same amount of crypto videos as others. You know, I'm just making other content. And, and like, I mean, I get it. Like, I know I know you guys want me to make crypto videos every day, and I want to do that. But, like, I like, I really like, like, for example, when John was saying, hey, the motivational videos. I like making those videos, too. And, I, I like, before I used to hate making those videos because I thought that nobody really wanted to hear my dumb ass giving any kind of motivation or advice. But you guys do, so I do it now. And, uh... And it's like whatever, you know, like it's cool, but I don't know, you know what I mean? Like it's like um, I, I, I'm realizing that like 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 what you guys were saying, like you guys just want to watch me, I guess, in any capacity, and I'm just making whatever I can that's entertaining, that I like, that I want to make. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's it's like a, it's not like a bad thing. It's just nice to follow. To for me, it's kind of nice to just have that person that you connect with. That. It's on the same wavelength of you with like the thoughts of what's going on. So that, that you know, it's just one of those for me. I think for John as well, it's just kind of like one of those things that you you follow the people that you know have the same ideas of you and what's going on. That's just one of those things. Yeah, man, for sure. I mean, I, I just try to be you know approachable. I just try to you know the, give the news, I guess. You know, give it from my perspective, but uh, but also you know make sure everybody stays aware and awake and. You know, that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just being me. You know, that, that's the thing. Well, the reason I make videos every day, too, is so that I, it's it's easier for me to make these things and talk to you guys and do this whole thing and, like, uh, be able to keep it personal, you know? And, like, uh, and like you know what I mean? Like, keep it, like, where you guys are here with me. Like, uh, like we're together. We're doing this. You know, we're just hanging out. Like, it's like uh, when I meet people, when I've actually met people, like fans or whatever on the street, you know, or they meet me. It's, it's not weird or awkward. It's like they know me, I know them. I don't know them, actually, but they know me. And it's like, I don't know, it's cool. And like, I, I mean, yeah. I'm just being me. I don't know. It's just, um, I just want to be me. <laughs> you know, like, that's it. And, like, uh, and uh, it's it's uh, it's cool, man. Uh, what, uh, why are we talking about me, by the way? Like, I feel like we've been talking about me, like, this whole time. I don't know. I appreciate it, too. I appreciate it. You know, it's nice. <laughs> hey, you guys are you're making me blush over here. It's not. It's not. It's not because it's like a hundred billion degrees. That's not why I'm red faced. It's really because I'm blushing. You know, it has nothing to do with all these fucking flies giving me malaria and shit. It has nothing to do with that. It either. was just. It was just. Uh, did you both used to live in Seattle and at the same time? So you used to live there, didn't you? <coughs> we did. Yeah, we didn't know each other. Oh right. Okay. So, but did you start following the channel like whilst? Uh, no, when he was in LA, that's when I found him. Uh, okay. And then I saw in his old videos, I was like, oh, he used to be in Seattle, that's weird. That's super cool, whatever. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's a fucking big place, but I can't imagine living in yeah. such a big place. I actually found him because uh, I was looking, I was searching for crypto songs, and he, his <laughs> channel was hosting, what is the All the Way Up yeah. thing. Like Dollar Vigilante. Yeah, that's the only like, clickbait thing I have on my channel. I think I got a lot of people that join my channel because of that. You know, yeah, at least, at least so watch I found his channel that way, and I was, you know, he also talks, okay? So I started watching, and I was like, hey, this guy's pretty funny. And that's it. The rest is history. And you're, then I told know. him what a fuck he was, and then he needed to fucking start doing some real work in this thing, and he should get a goddamn Discord channel. So, well, and then he was like, yeah, I should do that. And I was like, oh, okay, well, okay, let's, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. <laughs> so, yeah, man, no, for sure. Yeah, he, the John, as you, as you already know, uh, he created the Discord, and, uh, you know, I will forever be very thankful to that. And uh, and he's always been helpful, you know, making all kinds of things like thumbs and uh, and just uh, being a friend and being awesome and just cool. And, uh, and yeah, and he babysits Lambo from time to time, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. But uh, but yeah, man. I mean, it's uh, really cool. It's really cool. Like, um, I guess my um, my metamorphosis is right of uh, my videos. Can we talk about something else? I don't want to talk about me no more. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
I'm here. Yeah, I'm getting eaten by flies, bro. Alright, no, she's. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not drowning in dog parts anymore. So that's. Oh, that's good. Have you ever visited the UK, John? Or have you just been? No, I've. I've never actually left the United States. I only, and I've only, I've never made it past the middle of the United States either. So. Well, it's such a, such a, like, immense country. It's, it's insane. Uh, yeah, I mean, compare, especially compared to, like, like, what you guys are used to, at least in, like, Europe, like, you know, the states are, like, what you guys would see as countries. It's like every state in the U.S. speaking in a different language. It's, uh, right. Well, in some ways we do. <laughs> But it's but it's not every it's like every third state it's like you almost it starts to sound like somebody's speaking slightly different. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm in the speaking. kitchen doing some cooking, listening to you guys. Cool. He's I think he said he was cooking, listening to us. Oh, I thought it's far away. No, I've only ever been to the U.S. like three times. Three. Oh. I was in LA uh, for a little bit. Yeah. I went to Hawaii for three months. <laughs> yeah, nice. That was, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, uh, the, Hawaii is the only time I've been off the continent. Went to Hawaii for my honeymoon. Yeah, me too. So it was pretty. Yeah, me too. That's where I went with Lambo for my honeymoon. Yeah. Nice. nice. <clears throat> yeah, I went to the, what, the big island. Yeah, I think. Uh, How big was it? Yeah, I was on the. Really I was big. on the big island as well. Just staying in the, in an apartment just off Honolulu. Just did the whole country. It was pretty cool. Nice. But like, I don't know. Is it for an American? Is it like America or over there? Is it something different? Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's reminiscent but different. Yeah, I mean, well, like, all, you have all, like, the same stores and, like, the same rules and shit, I guess. It's just some of the same stores, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's Costco and there's, in, yeah, in the big towns. We, we got Costco in Mexico. Big. Oh, really? Yep. Well, uh, yeah, there's Costco in Latvia, actually, as well. Oh, really? <laughs> shit. I don't know. I mean, fuck, I'm fuck. American. Come on. Fucking American corporations. <laughs> These fucking American. Yeah, I told you I've never been outside the goddamn country. What do you want? You know, I have a, like a, I have a really weird boat on my uh, Google uh, Google Maps when I go on the the net, like to go on Google Maps. Every single time I go on, it recommends me a hotel in the middle of Russia, like in the middle of nowhere, in a really small <laughs> like, a, like town where no one's probably ever heard of. And huh. it's creepy. It's like, why? Like, what is this? It's just an app, or it, you know, when you go on Google and type on maps, or go on the Google app on maps. Uh huh. There's just a little green pin, and it's just like a location in middle of Russia that I've never heard of, and I have no idea why it's like saved, and it's 35 euros per night stay. It's like weird. <laughs> huh. It's not like a safe, like you didn't accidentally like click it, like... No, I've never ever seen this place, so like, I don't know if I did that. They want you to go there, man, they want you to go there. It's like something that makes me think of like the Hostel movies, or... I'm gonna send it in the link, see if it works. Yeah, this is a place that it keeps recommending me, like, <laughs> zoom out and look at the location. President of Tower. Nah, you know, they're probably just doing some, like, oh, really, they're, yeah. they're probably just doing some, like, Gary V style I mean, fucking that. marketing, you know, like, some hardcore marketing. Yeah, maybe, but I'm just surprised. Yeah, that's, like, in the middle of Russia. I'm just surprised. Just, why oh, that's why they need to do that hardcore marketing, because they're in the middle of fucking North Russia. Of Kazakhstan. 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 Yeah, I'd actually like to listen to you, like... So Try to say it, <laughs> European and Asian countries, that would be quite funny. Uh, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, 
Oh, there's a there's a really, back, yeah. There's a really <laughs> famous video in um in Latvia of an American when the ice hockey was like the Olympics. Hold over. Latvia against the um, US. Uh-huh. And uh, the Latvian commentators on the ice hockey were like um, getting all the names wrong really bad and the pronouncing the names so like so bad it was like ridiculous. <laughs> Pretty funny. Of no, the Latvian uh, athletes or something? Yeah, yeah. Hey, let me know if um, I'm too loud while I'm cooking, all right? No, you're good at that, baby. You're always too loud, buddy. Put on pump. Let's see here. Uh, I need to get away from, like, the obvious country news. I think I've heard those two. It's the uh, Vilnius. Vilnius. Yeah, Vilnius. I've got a little few on you. Minsk. <laughs> Minsk. <Yeah>. Minsk. <laughs> what, what is this? An uh, American pronouncing Ta- Eastern Ta- European Ta- things? Yeah, he Ta- wants to laugh at the silly America. Taipita. What is that? Taipita? Klaipita? Klaipuda? Say, hey, say, where, where do I live? Where do I live? Jose? Uh, yeah. Mexico. Yeah, but where, where in Mexico? Merida. 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 There you go. Merida. 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 No, 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 no. <laughs> like if it uh, only you only do the the r if it's two r's. Okay, if it's only I one r, it's Merida. Do that Just all. yeah, Merida, Merida. Uh, yeah, my wife can't do it either. It cracks me up. Just she tries. Yeah. She's like, I can't do it. Oh, Spence, if you can't do it, if you can't do it, do it then. Try it. Try doing it, Spence. No, no, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. No, I can't. Say it, say it. Hey, say it, hey, say it. Spence, say, Spence, Spence. No, no, Spence. Say perro. Say perro. Hey, Spence. Say perro. Say perro. Perro. Perro, bro, perro. Perro. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta loosen that tongue up. Like. <laughs> and you're married? What? Be- yeah, well, hey. <laughs> my wife, my wife can do it as well. But she has to. Oh, she's, but she's been a poor woman. Well, she well they it. they like they like the it, you know it's the, the part the it's part of the like. Vocabulary, like the way you pronounce stuff. Yeah. But, but she's like a, a freak. Like she speaks Latvian, English, Polish, Russian. Like she's wow. a complete insane person. <laughs> she's one of those smart people. Yeah. Say, well, so when she gets, hey, so when she gets mad, does she, does she yell at you in what, like what language? No, she, she expresses emotion in English, which is really fascinating. And huh. it's uh, because she lived in the UK for a long time, and obviously she lived with me. She expresses like her emotion in English, but some things in in Latvian still. But when it's like uh, a natural reaction, it's it, it's English, you know. So uh, that's quite interesting. Well, I think so anyway, because it's uh, you wouldn't think that you change like the you know the uh, dialect that you react emotionally in. Okay, how the hell do you pronounce S Z C Z? Szechuan, Szechuan. Like Szechuan, like Szechuan is always in Poland. Oh, uh, there's not such Berlin. Szechuan pierogies. I know. Look, it's almost like Szechuan. These Polish ones are. Uh, yeah, there's a, a lot of them have this S Z C Z all over their name. Like it's like, oh, yeah. So, it, there must be some single sound that's like, stick it, <laughs> stick it, stick it. St- oh, shit, shit, Yeah, yeah, shit, shit, You've got shit, and then you've got um, Bosnian. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't. Um, what do I just get? Soup, if you, 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 if you
you see Poland and go right to the bottom of Poland on the border of uh, uh, Czech near Australia uh, uh -huh. town beginning with K Polish you can try to pronounce that one uh, is it near is it with a um, Warclock how far from Warclock like, War uh, uh, Warclock Dresden oh wait K you said K Wait, no, now I'm in Germany. Maybe I need to zoom in here. It's next to... Uh, hey, what if, what if I told you guys that I'm recording this whole thing? No. <laughs> I'm just fucking me. I'm fucking with you guys. Right? <laughs> and next to what? I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, Kirk, is it near Krakow? Yeah, it's... Um, is it uh, Katowice? White people pronouncing things. Budapest. But yeah, it's it's like um, it's funny how um, different like everywhere is fucking you know like. It's just fucked up. I still think it's crazy that people still don't understand like a lot of basic translations and things. That hotel looks pretty nice. <laughs> what are you at? Yeah. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. <laughs> let's uh, I mean, let, uh, let's meet there. That could be our official meeting place. It looks pretty sweet. And I gotta look at this hotel now, man. Shit. Fucking we'll meet there for um, I mean, it's pretty fucking pimp. It's not too bad, like so. Give it a shot, I mean, man. By, by U.S. standards, it's pretty fly for a white guy. Really? Would you say this is like high end? Yeah, it's well, like, like upper middle end. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like it's not a motel. high end. It, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's it's uh, it's not a motel. Definitely, it's definitely a hotel. I mean, it's maybe like a hundred dollars a night in my area. Um, a little bit nicer, you'd get up to like two hundred dollars a night. It's like it's like forty-five dollars a night. <laughs> yeah, but it's in Russia. I think it's cheaper than that. I think I don't think it's a hundred. I think it's cheaper than a hundred. Uh, there's a lot of cheap cheap places around there. I bet you could find a hotel for one dollar a night. I think that's a few dollars. you want to. Honestly, uh, um, there's a guy uh, I want to show you. I think it's sixty-five dollars per dollar, something like that. Sixty-five <laughs> rubles per dollar. Sixty-five rubles is a dollar. Yeah. Oh. I think. Yeah, you can, you can get some cheap... Uh, Cheap uh, places to stay around, like uh, Russia and Eastern Europe, for sure. Yeah. Well, it's a uh, it's a crazy place, but you should definitely, if you get the chance, definitely um, make the effort to see as much as you can when you get over here. Someday. I'm sure you will. Yeah, it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere, but it's like. <laughs> well, it's like they a developed uh, area. Like every um, if I showed that place to anyone in Europe, they say fuck that. Like they'd say no way. That's like no way, man. They'd uh, probably think all these pictures were fake. That place didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be. This is so far away. Well, yeah, you should definitely go visit like the Chernobyl site and stuff. Oh, there's a new uh, Chernobyl series on HBO. I want to check out. But well, that's it's like cool. That's a different must visit if you're into that stuff. How? Uh, I mean, I know there's a lot of stuff. The radioactivity, like you can get pretty close to it. Then you can go through the um, the hazardous zone, but you've got to have like a guy guy counter on your and uh, mm -hmm. stop at checkpoints and stuff. But yeah, and you can't touch anything. There's a lot of towns close by which have been abandoned because it's so popular. Mm -hmm. Crazy. It's 
It's crazy, it's man. Shit. Crazy. Gosh, we got one of those here in my state, actually. Not on the level of uh, Chernobyl, but it's one of the closest things that we have in the states, which is the Hanover site. is um, south of me. I don't know. That's a bit, that's a bit hard call. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, it's, it's not like we get radiation from it, but not that I know of. <laughs> Some Fallout 3 shit. What there. What is wrong with radiation? You don't you know man enough for radiation? You don't like no radiation? <laughs> radiation good for you, make you strong, strong like bull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But <laughs> yeah. two plus two minus one, that's three. Good man. That's why you puny Americans are so puny, because you are afraid of nuclear power. You need nuclear power. Well, it's actually, the best. I bought some shares in some uh, American uranium companies the other day, just as like a, a Canadian one. You so. must eat uranium for breakfast. Uranium for breakfast, that's what we do here in uh, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. That's Canada. <laughs> Was, was yes. Canada, comrade. So it was, yeah. was Canada, comrade. Was. That's in Canada. Was. It's a, it's a, what do they call it? It's the Providence of Canada. Was. Was. It belongs to yeah. Mother Russia now. It's in the middle of Alberta, which is the only one that any in, uh, person from Europe knows. <laughs> oh. Oh, you can eat buffet, yeah. Where, what, huh? Buffet? Girl, <laughs> <laughs> so, sure. If they can, so tell me, you know, you're in Seattle, right? Uh huh. Like, would it be easy to go to Canada, or would you have to like do some paperwork to go there? I have to get a passport. Uh, I don't have one right now, but if I had a passport, it's relatively easy. Okay. It's not. I mean, you just have to go up there and get through the, the border. Like, you, know, you know, like all these countries in Europe, you can cross the borders without anyone stopping you. Like, no, no, you get stopped. You got to go through customs. Yeah, so that's like, that's weird. If around Europe, you can just go wherever you want. So, like, yeah. Apart from, like, obviously, <coughs> to the UK, you have to travel over water. So you, know, you can like, sneak over. But, well, yeah. But, yeah, you're supposed to go through the... Designated checkpoints. <laughs> checkpoints. The designated checkpoints. One must go through these. Designated. Papers, please. Papers. They are Papers. designated for your safety. The government is here for you. So your buffet is in the, in the channel. Buffet. It's, it's, it's called buffet. Buffet. Right? Buffet. 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 Yeah, I wasn't too hungry. I was kind of hungry, and then I saw that. Fuck, you know I'm hungry. <laughs> tired and hungry. Thank I'm you. not that tired. I just I have a yawning problem. I'm trying to quit. But. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh... I'm going for someone. What are your plans for the weekend, guys? Well, I'm going to take my car to the uh, repair place or the, the shop. The uh, shop? Is that what you guys call it in, uh, in, uh, in no, Europe? In like, Europe? No, they call it, they call it the car garage or car and garage uh, service station. You're going well, to get service? Shop. Are you going to go get service? I don't say a shot. Well, I mean, I guess maybe. But I, I gotta, I gotta take it to a mechanic. That's what I gotta. Do. Right, you gotta go yeah, to a fucking to mechanic. It's pretty universal. Yeah. That's the American way. You gotta take it to a mechanic. But yeah, I would say like if a car's in the shop, in the shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cars in the shop. But British people would say the cars in the garage. In the what? Wait, say it again. No, what would you say? In the garage. In the what? Say garage. You'd say garage. If it was at home, in your garage. What's it called? But nobody uh, parks in their garage. How do you how do you properly garage. how do you properly say it, Spence? I say garage. What what the fuck is a garage? 
the fuck is a garage? It's the same. It's the same as garage. It's, 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 yeah. it's, it's how you thing. actually pronounce garage. It's how, it's how Americans have turned it into garage, but it's garage. Yeah. We should ask Shakespeare. What would Shakespeare same say? With aluminium. Yeah. Well, I mean, or what's it, what's aluminium? American, what the fuck is that? The Americans say aluminum. Yeah, we say aluminum. Yeah, because it's yeah, that's that's, a, that's how you're supposed to say it. And we say schedule, I, not schedule. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck is that? And what the fuck is color? 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 Color. 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 But they say it the same. It's just spelled different. <laughs> and armor, yeah, you gotta. Use, there's an extra U. Armor's gotta. Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't really know about these differences. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I, like, regular English wasn't good enough for you guys, so you guys had to, like, fuck it up. And, like, you know. <laughs> you, you do know, you do know that that's really, you do know that that's really, like, the origins. You know, like, or like real English is spoken like how Americans speak it. Not with the slang or whatever. I'm just talking about regular English. That's how, it's, it's really supposed to be spoken how it is in America, how you guys speak it in the UK or whatever. That's like, uh... Like it's it's like it's so some slang derivative thing that's no, not no, English. This is the, this is <laughs> part of the language. It's a derivative. It's, it's the Queen's English. Sire. <laughs> it's the Queen's English. The Americans just fuck the language off, and then that was a it's a shit coin. It's no, I'm dead. Hey, I'm dead serious, Brandon. Like I'm not I'm not fucking around. Like uh, like I, I saw like some uh. Some documentary, like, um, I don't think it was like PBS, I don't know what the fuck it was, some documentary, and it was talking about that, it was literally talking about that, and I was like, and they were talking about Shakespeare and all this other shit, and I was like, oh shit, no way, so back how when Shakespeare times, like, uh, English was spoken how we're speaking it now, and then Shakespeare came along and, you know, created that, whatever the fuck that is, because it was all part of the fucking drama, the art, the act, or whatever, you know, and then they kept talking like that. And then when they came back to and then when they came to America, they're like, you know, we're gonna speak proper English here because you know we're not retarded. Ancient aliens. Ancient aliens. Aliens. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being a shit. Man. No, no, bro. I mean, it's okay. Uh, I know. I don't know. I, I mean, I get. I have to. I'm not the research that much, but what I understood is that it was not not that way. That I mean that that, that was not the case. Oh, well, well, then what was the case? Go ahead, tell us. Uh, I don't know. Tell us, Mr. Crypto Mystic, <laughs> and, and mystify us. I don't know. I don't know what, like, the, the real origin is, but it's just... Isn't it origin? Isn't it origin, bro? No, it's definitely origin. Because <laughs> <laughs> they like their gin. I try to think of some other examples, but I don't think of anything. No, but, you know, like, I, I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that you know, remember, we were rebelling against the fucking English, so we're not going to drink tea, we're going to drink, what, coffee? You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, we're not going to yeah, speak oh, yeah. like, we're going yeah, to speak know. like them, we're going to speak like this. You know, fuck those, you know, those, what the fuck is a bloke? I'm going to kick your ass if you fucking call me a bloke, you fucking... You know, I think, I think it was shit like that, bro, you know? Fuck your hell, yeah. You know, I want to I want to admit something to you guys. I was fucking recording this shit the whole time, but now that we're talking about this subject, I'm like, fuck, yeah. man, I can't fucking put this shit up. You know, honestly, yeah. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You know, like I was like, fuck, you know, I thought we were just, and, and it's totally fine, man. You know, we gotta talk about it, but it's like that's the world we're living in now. Like I can talk about I can talk about like Venezuela, I can talk about all of these other things and get like in trouble. But if I were literally to post this now after the words that we said. And the things that we're talking about, like I, I could probably be kicked off of YouTube, literally one, like one million percent. Oh, I know, I know, man. But you know, if you want to post it, let's just fade it out and then fade back in, like after it. You know. Nah, nah, it's fine. I mean, whatever. You know. Uh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be a, a crazy edit. You know, you can just kind of like fade it in and out to some other fucking section. Yeah, you could edit it. Alright. Well. Whatever. You know, now you guys know you're being recorded, so now, see, it's over anyway, so... No, no, it's... It, but I, I, I kind of knew that. I had a feeling you were. <laughs> like, he's probably oh, still uh, fucking recording this, but he's not going to be able to use it. <laughs> no, but I, I, I totally agree. It's just a shame that uh, it's 
got that way why the, the silent majority have to like do things in a way which isn't going to create too much like mainstream attention. They have to kind of go in the, the fucking, they have to backdoor all this shit to make sure it works properly the first time. But we were talking about um, English spelling and, and uh, English people and American language, weren't we, before? We were, uh, yeah, I guess we were. <laughs> I'm just getting fascinated now. I keep digging down into the pictures of this hotel. <laughs> Oh, you're still looking for that hotel. <laughs> I mean, it starts getting weird. Like, there's so many pictures. Like, and then shit starts getting weird. Do you think it's a scam? Like, it's a bad uh, hotel? I don't know. I mean, it, it's obvious. I'm pretty sure it's a real hotel. Like, the number of different pictures of the same location. Well, like, especially if you get down further, where you get the older. But well, it's you- not so nice. Like, <laughs> it used to be a little bit more run down. It's, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just fascinating. It looks like it's got a lot of, like, it's quite expensive, actually, for where... I'm just trying to figure out these chairs, like, do you see these chairs? Here's a better picture. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, they've got some crazy Russian chairs, man. Fucking hell. Some crazy fucking chairs. Yeah. Just been like fascinated by looking at this hotel. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I was just going down the rabbit hole, man. <laughs> uh, and then there's this weird like castle thing, sculpture thing. Yeah, there's a lot of that. A lot of that shit. Like, it's not. It's like. Not a ca- it's too small. It, like it could be a castle for like a gnome, but like a gnome castle. Yeah, it's like a fairy castle. Like there you go. Oh, it's like a it's one of the attractions there. Is well, it's just like a it's just a god decoration thing. Yeah, it's just it's, it's just different. <laughs> yeah, that, that chairs are very strange. Uh, yeah. Well, and then that whole bar. Like, I didn't even notice the chairs when I first first picture. I was just like, wow, that's a crazy, like, retro 60s-ish kind of future. I don't know what's going on. And then I really saw what the chairs were, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? (laughs) What is going on? What in the world is going on, guys? What is happening? What did um what did you talk about in the live stream today? Because I caught the last three minutes. That's how um. Uh, I don't know. It. I forgot already. I think he was talking about the bull run. Yeah. Who was not talking about the bull? The bulls. The bulls. Talking about the bulls. The bulls. The bulls. Yeah, that's all anyone's been talking. You know, it's been fucking. That's just the news. It's just like price, 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 which is kind of annoying. But, yeah. I guess that's all they want to start with. I don't know. Nothing's changed. But I also don't blame Nothing new. I think everyone's got their kind of little duty to fucking spread the word when to push the momentum more and more when things are going off. So it'll get more people intrigued because, you know, at the end of the day, nobody's going to, not any outsiders get interested in this as well as price action. It's like the, uh, the car list of what's going on anyway. Yeah. Raise the price and they will come. Exactly. So we might see the uh, John McAfee 1 million, or Jose's 100k by... Jose's. Or Jose, sorry, uh, it's pronounced the... Uh, Jose. It's Jose. 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 That's my name. No, I am. I got, actually. I'm I got called like. I'm not Hohn, It's John. It's John. I got called like not long ago. John. Spencer's like an American girl's name. Spencer. No. Spencer. Spencer. No. Really? 
Not a girl's name, Spencer? No. I think there's some like American TV show where one of the girls, their first name is Spencer, and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, it's pro- it probably goes both, but not. I've never met a female Spencer. I can I've, think never, of. I've, I've never met a male Spencer or a female one, just myself. But it's not a very common name. I thought the packet was. A, I thought packets were um, cigarettes. It's a burning oh, stick. That's what it was. Well, yeah. Facts are um, English slang for cigarettes. Yeah, it kind of well, it comes because initially a fat I go burning like a um, like a puck. Do you know what a puck? Like a like a burning a little burning stick you would use to start fires and stuff. That was the fag. And then the reason why it became a term for gay people was when. Um, during like the the witch trials and stuff when they would burn gays at the stake and then, and so in america a faggot became a, a gay person so ah. they were burning at the stake they were a burning stick interesting they were a faggot all right uh, okay interesting okay let's not history let's not. lesson for today yeah 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 so in case uh you guys out there were wondering what the fuck we were talking about when i had to make that fucking edit it was shit like that but anyways, hey, are we gonna still end up talking, or we we still got shit? Do you, what do you do? You have are you, don't you guys have anything to do? Yeah, I gotta <laughs> clean my house. Oh, that's why you're still here because you don't want to clean your house. <laughs> what I about you, sleep, Spence? I'm I'm okay for now. I'm just kind of like okay. hanging out and enjoying myself, so I don't want to really just leave just yet. You know, it's nice just to uh, chill out and speak to people. So which one should I upload? Should I upload this one or the or the first one or both? I don't know. I think I think just whatever you think would be more interesting. I mean, I don't know we spoke. It was pretty like price action heavy. We kind of got sidetracked a lot, and it was a bit uh, rough around the edges, I guess. So yeah. But I don't know if we. I can't even remember what we've been speaking about in the last <laughs> time. So I don't know what if that's got any. Uh, valuable information in it either because I mean it's like, definitely entertaining entertainment value right, that's sure. the point well, yeah I mean as long as it just uh, requires some creative editing bleeping maybe but. well yeah maybe you could just uh, use me as a skip or it's been like a really uh, I don't know well, you, I don't know if bleeping will work I think I think I might have to fucking what do you think cut it out right yeah. I think it's not worth you risking like being striked down for something like that. So just yeah, no, just because we're fucking exactly. talking the truth or whatever. Anyway. Yeah, it's, it sucks, yeah. man. But the world we live in. You have to uh, play by the rules. I guess. No, whatever. Anyway, what we need is what we need a blockchain. We just need more blockchain. Yeah. It'll come. This hotel would be a really good location for. Uh, you know, I, I like to think like um, all these platform coins are going to be just like social networks in a way where you won't be on an app, you'll be on a network, so you'll just share content with other people that are on your network. You know, it won't be like a, an app that you just, you'll just be on the Ethereum chain or, you know, depend on what oh, yeah. chain okay. like EOS on the EOS chain. But you know, that's just one of those things I think it might work like that. Like you'll have a, a group, a community within the platform. Yeah, that's like a major component to it. Yeah, I totally one million percent agree. And what, it, what people in, te- you know, I'd like to think people in 10 years want to say like, who do you work for? They'll be saying, uh, what platform do you work on? You know, I think that was like a metallic thing. You said that, I kind of agree with that. Like I think that's the way it's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can go with that. Yeah, what platform are you on? That kind of shit. Yeah, I I agree. I think so. So, Yeah, we may not have countries anymore. We might have, like... Exactly, like, like people that just connect... Just little decentralized networks. Exactly, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that would be so sweet. Like, you know... I think it's instead of people having to fight over... um, 
one side or the other. It's like they've been like brainwashing to with all this election stuff that goes on. It's kind of giving people yeah. The, the problem I see is is the whole like um, uh, what's the the echo chamber effect, right? So like you could end up having even a worse kind of echo chamber thing where like if you're only yeah, it's associating it's, like it's the, um, the people the people that get really wrecked are the ones which are uh, just reckless and don't think about what they're doing just they've just got dollar signs in their eyes kind of thing they're in there for like the quick uh, flip some dollars and get making that money you know what I mean but then a small percentage of them people will actually because it is such a such a new thing like it was the same for me as soon as I really discovered what was going on and what was it it was such a new platform it's a whole new world that you can realise that you can be kind of be a part of this new thing that's starting up and a small percentage of people turn into that kind of interest eventually over time I think so it's just a, it's just a way in the game at the minute Well, that's the dream. Yeah. A boy can dream. A boy can dream. A boy can only dream. Yes. And that, I guess that's all we ever really strive for. So yeah, man. So what are you guys gonna fucking do this weekend again? Tomorrow. Yeah. I think what I'm gonna do with the edit is I'm gonna. I'm gonna have like I'll just record a quick little intro, you know, and then I'll I'll play this, I'll edit the shit out, and then I'll play the the second video. You get what I'm saying? Like afterwards, and I just you know it'll be like a two-hour thing, I guess, or something. Yeah, yeah, whatever you think. So. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> whatever you want to do. Now we can have people compare. Edit out all the yawn, which is like an hour. Of the yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't an hour. It's only like we were only talking about it for like five, ten minutes, five minutes or something. No, he's talking about my hour of yawning. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. No, but it was fun. The second one was good, too. I liked it better. We can have the audience, um, you know, figure it out. But whatever. I guess so. So what are you guys, uh, so what are you guys doing this weekend? Just working. 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 Uh, uh, I might get one day off of the weekend where I can, like, I don't know, watch some uh, TV shows or just relax for a bit. Game of Thrones and shit? Yeah, I'm, I'm right. like one episode behind, but I'm not like a super big fan. I'm kind of watching. Yeah, yeah, I'm a no fan, so yeah. <laughs> I don't really enjoy it at all. I just like criticizing yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm an episode behind too because uh, wife's out of town, so I'm uh, she'll be back on Friday and get pull out, and then probably I don't know. We'll probably watch like, the last one like, and then. I grew up playing like strategy games on PC and that final battle was like strategy if it was so bad it just made me want to like, <laughs> kill myself. Yeah. I, and yeah. It was just so bad. It was like it was why would you have your artillery on the front line and then you send your cavalry in first when it's like your best unit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah it was ridiculous from a military standpoint. But the, uh, the the visuals were fantastic. Can't play but yeah. It, yeah, unfortunately, they made it way too fucking dark uh, for streaming audiences. Uh, if you watched it, like, what, what we are we talking it, about? Streaming live. What are, you, what are you guys talking about? Game of Thrones. Oh. Um, yeah. Don't want to talk about it long, but yeah, basically, it's yeah. like uh, yeah, it was, it was it's just a hot, it's really it's a hot mess at the minute. So I'm waiting for it to end. I keep hearing people like people are saying it sucks or something. The last season sucks. Yeah, the last yeah. season is kind of sucking. Don't they all? Don't they all suck? Don't all lo- all last season suck? Someone was comparing it to Lost. Yeah, Lost. Yeah, really Lost is like my favorite ever TV show ever. All right. Yeah, I like. I mean, it's one of the few TV shows I've watched all the way through more than once. No way. Breaking. No way. Really? Breaking Bad, bro. Breaking Bad. Or or. Breaking uh, Bad's like a close second. Or The Sopranos. Oh, you know, The Sopranos is one of my favorite. Or uh or um what's that what's that show from um. The Wire. The Wire was awesome, too. Yeah. Eh, whatever. You guys... Yes. I never watched The Wire. Yeah, I never watched it. 
Yeah, see, that's the kind of shit I like. You know what I mean? I, like the, the chasing dragons. You know, the chasing dragons I like are you know when it's uh, you 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 know what you know what they say when the when you're chasing the dragon, right? Yeah, that's like uh, opium. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah, right. I don't know. It's a hard drug. <laughs> I think it's heroin. I don't know what the fuck it is. Oh yeah, opium is heroin. Boom boom. Smoking smoking black tar and a and a old uh, old pipe and an opium dude. Chasing. Well, it's it's actually you you smoke it in, you blow it out, and then you suck in the smoke. That's chasing the dragon. <clears throat> yes, sir. Well, what the fuck? I just saw the uh, the Reddit page. Some guys bragging about buying a pen off Amazon with Bitcoin. A pen. <laughs> off Amazon, sure. Newegg, yeah, I can buy it. Shut up. Another truck. You can, yeah, Newegg actually, Newegg, right? They actually accept Bitcoin. Yeah, I, that's where I got my, that's how I upgraded my computer. I gave them Bitcoin and they sent me a... Oh, yeah, I remember you building it. Yeah. Yeah, but the only way Amazon's going to accept Bitcoin is, again, through that network that we were talking about earlier. That speed-in thing, you know, that thing that... uh. That uh, the Winklevoss guys, you know, created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know. It's got a video. I'm checking out the video now. What? For what? I just bought a pin on Amazon with Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, what do you use? Like a Coinbase? Uh, what, Vladimir like a, VR. What do you use? A coin? Like a fucking. Uh, Oh, he used a fucking credit. It's not yeah, BitPay, like a BitPay card, right? It's a yeah, it's a Bit card. Fucking blow me. ClickPay. ClickPay. Why is that got like, like eight hundred upvotes and it's got um, gold on Reddit? It's fucking terrible. It's fucking ClickPay. I just linked it to you because it was. Like, I felt strange. I think that was the first experience. I was playing with the first credit card in the world. That's. Like what? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's Russian. Okay. Hey, what should we um, what should we call this podcast? No speak English. <laughs> no speak English. Like English. Even more Russian. No, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Crypto roundtable? No. Yeah, that's that could be. Uh, what were you calling it before? Nothing. <laughs> oh. Oh, I really thought the comments on this post would be there before. Or what should I call the what should I call the upload to try and get some some clickbait? Or not clickbait, but you know, get people to watch it. There's no this that's sort of like the video doesn't even um, I, I think I'm I talking about um, the crypto, the crypt. What's clickbait? Uh, no, not clickbait, but like the the crypto podcast. No. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll think of some names. Right. So look, so as people are watching this, you know, they're like, see, there they was, it was like when we have, we come up with an amazing title. You'll see that it took a long time to figure this out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe someone can suggest something. We'll take the first comment on the video. How about that? Lambo, Lambo Live. Lambo, Lambo does uh, Lambo interviews. The crypto mystic. Yes. And the Spencinator. Spencinator. Okay. We got Spence walking into the office. Was it? We got Spence making the copies in the copy machine. The Spencerinator. The Spencerino. The Spence Meister. Spencer Gifts. The the Spencer Gifter. It's bad. It's worse than that. We got Spence uh, making the copies. How's it going, Spence? You making a lot of copies today? Making so many copies. 
It's unbelievable. Wow, no man. Copies. Wow, man. Yes, I'm, I'm copying my own coins. Copy and paste. You know, that's how it works. You just print more bitcoins. Copy the private keys and just paste them anyway you want. Double. That's wow, it. man. This sounds amazing. Mm-hmm. It's so easy. All you have to do is buy XRP. Wow, dude. You gotta teach me how to get some uh, XRP. Is that like the future, or you think it'll be like the standard? It'll probably, um, it'll probably cure cancer and everything else. It's Whoa! So good. Whoa! Where do I get? Where do I get some of this XRP? Whoa! Whoa, dude! It's super, it's super secret, man. You, you have to join my paid group on Discord figure out how it works oh, man. XRP from Coinbase. This sounds real legit, man. This sounds really, really, really interesting. It sounds like the <laughs> we'll, real we'll deal. We'll tell you the right time. Yeah, we'll tell you the right time. Like at three dollars? I need a new car. You buy you we buy it at three dollars? Buy it to all time high and then you sell gets really low. That's what you do. Thanks man. You guys are awesome. Yeah. You're welcome. It's like, cause you want to buy a high, cause that's when everybody's like into it. Like, so you got like. Yeah, because that's when it. that's when that's when everybody. You get it when it's like, oh my god, it's so expensive. And then, and then when it gets down, like nobody wants it, so just sell that shit. Like, ugh. yeah, exactly, sure. exactly. You want to buy it at the high because yeah. you know people people are gonna you know want to sell it, and you know you'll be able to get it at a good price. Yeah. Popular too. Yeah, and then when uh, if you buy it at the bottom, it's like it's shitty, it's crappy. Why would you want to buy it then? You know, it's not popular. Yeah, that's like totally not cool. Yeah, nobody wants it then. You know, so you gotta buy it at the high. You know, fun facts. Yeah, yeah. it's just not, it's not a cool thing to do, is it? <laughs> right. It's gonna save the world, huh? It's gonna give cancer to the world or something. No reason. It's gonna, it's gonna do, do something like that. Yeah. It's gonna give everybody <laughs> cancer. What about that Bitcoin? I heard that's pretty good. Yeah, it's just fucking. No, no, awesome. that's a, it's old. That's so old technology. Just ignore that. Okay, okay, I'll listen to you guys. Okay, okay, great. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Since you that said that, I mean, you know, it is it is old. Nobody likes anything that's old, you know. Yeah, nobody likes old things. Oh wait, hold on. We gotta be careful. I don't want to sound oldest. Yeah, I'll be uh, ageist. We don't be ageist now. You don't want to be ist anything. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Don't be an ister, man. Yeah, I don't want to. You know what? I, I we could we could probably get uh, in trouble. You should be the anti-ists. You know, we could get in trouble for for um for triggering XRPers. You know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was actually worried about. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I mean, I just as a joke, I was, when you were like, "What are you even talking about?" I was like, well, we were kind of talking about XRP, and then we went in. No, oh, no, I don't want to give them any ideas, man. I don't want to like. I, like I didn't want it to go down that road. Back really? Really? Kicked off on a bit of a we can't win. Like, we can't yeah, fucking win here. We can't fucking win. This went bad. Like I, I honestly, I'm so salty about it. I hate it so much. Like um, I just can't like ignore these tards. It just, it's just something. Uh, fuck. I just get so like um. Yeah, it gets it's annoying just how irrational they can be about like, exactly how that's how crazy. It's, it's, extra it's, it's like oh, wait, what are we I, talking about right now? We're talking about what again? It's nothing. Let's just not. We're not talking about anything. I don't know. Let's never mention it again, please. Yeah. It's not even worth mentioning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to edit. Or what not to edit. I mean, I'm. Oh I my don't know. goodness. You don't have to like upload it if you think it's like low quality. Maybe but it's gonna be awesome. This is like quality content. I know we should call it the censored podcast. The censored crypto podcast. YouTube friendly podcast. The, the First Amendment podcast. <laughs> the First Amendment free, podcast. Free speech podcast. Yeah, dude, just by if we just call it the free speech podcast, that's already gonna play. Call it free Bitcoin podcast. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> free XRP podcast. Yeah, sorry, there you go. XR or not XRP free? Just I've got XRP freely. Just call it this, I'm going to type it out, this is a perfect tale. Suspense is killing me. Suspense. Suspense.
It's our free free eggs are given. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's a winner. <laughs> wiener, chicken, wiener, 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 chicken, wiener. Yeah, that's the title. If you want some some real good uh, giraffe egg downloads. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. the extra free free XRP giveaway, free XRP <laughs> giveaway podcast. XRP free free yeah. XRP giveaway. <laughs> you gotta misspell one of the words. I will give away one XRP to a lucky winner. <laughs> <laughs> So there we go, That's, it's a legit competition now, so if you like this video, subscribe and leave a comment. <laughs> I will pick a winner at random at the end of 2020 and give you one. <laughs> well, Abby said by that time it'll be worth like a million dollars, right? Well, exactly, so you know, it's, it's investing in the competition which counts. That's you, right. You, you hold in the XRP in my wallet, you see, so it's thank <laughs> you. Actually, the giveaway could be a little bit. The winner actually has to give you an extra. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want that. No, I, don't I don't want, want any that. XRP. <laughs> no, I don't even want it. I don't even want it. I don't want a part of that. I don't want any part of that. That. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't want to be. Yeah, if, it's good, if I if uh, I already I already feel like I could be um, liable just for owning the twenty XRP in that wallet, I can't get rid of. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm reliable for fucking uh, uh, what is it for for losses when once XRP becomes BitConnect. Uh, we can only hope that it's gonna happen sooner or later. Yeah, XRP, dude. Are you kidding me, bro? That, that shit is the biggest scam on the earth, bro. That shit's gonna fucking. Well, I think the the very oh. smart way to play it out, but you know. It's just fascinating to see like the uh, the amount of completely uh, hypnotized people they have like behind them. It's unreal. Yes, sir. Yeah. I wonder how many are paid. I don't know. Whilst we've been talking, we've been hitting three thousand three hundred. No, well, yeah, I think there's a lot of people. I think a lot of them are paid because. It, it, if it's like a Ponzi scheme, I mean. Oh, yeah. oh shit! Damn. What was that? <laughs> but we're we're actually we're playing with uh, 8,400. Oh, Bitcoin. We we've gone yeah we've gone up a couple hundred while we've been talking. Fucking a man. I know right. Bitcoin's on a tear. I, I mean I'm I mean I'm not I'm not like a I'm not a trader or anything like that but I'm really I'm really considering. Um, because I got, a, I got a little bit of Bitcoin, not much, you know, just a little bit. And, like, I'm thinking, like, you know, and obviously, you know, no matter what you have, even if you got 20 bucks, you're making money now, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and uh, and I'm yeah. thinking to myself, like, fuck, maybe I should sell at some point when we get to a high. You know what I mean? So yeah, I can uh, just to try and stack some. Try the cluster. Keep you going, yeah. yeah. That's what everyone's trying to do. Yeah, just uh, you got to figure out when that, when that point to sell is. But you know, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't sell. Like, I might sell a portion that I bought at Lowe's, you know. And, um, but it's not even sell. It's more like, um, you know, move into I don't know something else. Yeah, it's just moving. You're just managing your wealth, managing your money, right? It's just making sound choices for your financial future. Oh man, that sounds. I think, uh, I think whilst um, whilst it's on such a tear, I think. Uh, there's not only other crypto that's going to go on a crazy tail like this, I would have thought. Uh, once we do this, like, we eventually will, like, be treasured. I mean, dude, we were, we were at 3,000. We were at 3,000 a month and a half ago. Yeah, I know. It's, it's pretty sick. And now we're at 3,400 right now, as of now? 8,000. 8,400, right? Yeah, well, between between eighty three hundred. Yeah, eighty three, whatever, bro. It's a lot. Shit. You know, we've we've made a five thousand dollar gain in how long? In how like a month and a half? Yeah, it's been pretty sick. That's sick, bro. This is fucking nasty, dude. I mean, but imagine by the time this shit airs on Friday, because Verge is up forty percent. I don't even look at anything else. It's not the time is so back and forward. Virg is the porn coin. 
Who the fuck yeah. is even using that shit? I don't know. People on porn me. But I thought that shit got hacked like a... When the alts are going crazy, I'm happy. <laughs> it's like, they needed to go a lot crazier because they're way down. Mm-hmm. Well, fucking... Raven pumped 40%. What the fuck? My alts are pumping like... Uh, Stellar's up 30% today. Tron's up 15. That's crazy. Yeah, my Verge, Verge is up... Just, like, uh, we're joining the party. Yeah, I've heard she's up there, but we've seen the long time chat on Verge. And, I mean, so, I don't know, I don't know how people don't, I mean, oh, it's yeah, the, no, the, I bull, mean the bull, the bull season, the bull run is here, man, that's it. I mean, I don't know what else we need. We prove it. Yeah, I believe, I believe so as well, but I don't think, um, I just don't think we'll get to 20k that fast. I think it'll take us till at least the end of the year. Okay, I think we're going to get to 20k by July 4th. I already said that. So now that that's just me being conservative, but I think if I was going to be like super bullish and everything possible could go right, I think maybe somewhere between 50 to 80 if, if it was like stars aligned, but I think more or less we'll be at 6 or something crazy. No, we're not going to be at 6, bro. Get out of here with that shit. <laughs> I want six because I want more. So that's probably why it's not gonna go down. It's getting pretty late. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna head off because it's too honestly. Well, yeah, we're um so um. This is a good episode, man. We had a good time. It was fun. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. <coughs> John's Hopefully. dying. We got John dying over here. Yep. It's a Jesus killer. He's a Jesus killer right here, bro. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's right. You guys don't listen to Joey Diaz. You know, he, he calls Lee Syed. He calls him the, the Jesus killer. Because he's Jewish. Because he's Jewish. No. I thought the Romans killed Jesus. Nah, man. Let's, let's save it for another episode. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> save it for next week. It's a, it's a pretty... Don't don't need that fucking hummus, all right? Don't need that fucking... We're going to offend all the Christians next week. Yeah, right. We're, we already offended, like, you know, everybody... <laughs> everybody on the left. Well, we already offended well, everybody on the left today, so tomorrow is uh, everybody on the right. Yeah. Yeah, we can all go away and just write down a few of the people that we really want to piss off, and then we'll get <laughs> We can all talk about how much we hate them people. Oh, uh, man. But, you know. It's a good thing I'm not recording any of this shit, right? Wink, wink. Yeah. Wink. Well, it was pretty good. I think we should do these like that from now on. You know, like, we'll figure it out. You know, like, I, I gotta just start recording and then tell you guys we're recording. And... Yeah. Because otherwise, fun, other, yeah, yeah, otherwise, if I don't do that, then you're going to get the result that you're going to see after you watch, if you're done watching this, because I'm going to put it right after this. <laughs> So, you're going to see the job interview, okay, between these guys. <laughs> All quality, quality content right here. And it was so good that John was falling asleep in the last one. He fell yeah, asleep. He fell asleep during the podcast, if you can believe it. I mean, who, I mean, seriously, who the fuck falls asleep in the middle of a job interview? But John did it. John did it. So yeah, if you guys want to see that, if you guys want to see that shit, just keep watching because it's coming up. Obviously, you're probably still watching. It's probably halfway through the fucking video right now anyway. So, all right. Well, guys, I'm going to fucking stop recording, right? So these guys can watch uh, the real episode. The, the things that we were supposed to air before I started doing this one, okay? Okay, sure. Okay. sure. All right, guys. Well, all right. I'm going to stop recording. Thanks for joining us and uh, enjoy the next one. Enjoy whatever the fuck you're going to watch now. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Today we got John, the crypto mystic, and we got Spence, as in you know, Mister Must Be Nice, as you guys know them from the Discord. And uh, as you guys already heard, we're laughing it up. We're having a great time, and we're just uh, 
you know, shooting the shit, as they like to say, back in uh, Montana. Is that where they say that? I don't know. Anyways, um, Lambo's joining us today, and uh, we're just going to be... That's There he is. Look, we, he, he's, he's even talking. Oh, shit. <laughs> Anyways, and... Uh, <laughs> And uh, we're just going to be talking crypto and talking about all kinds of random stuff uh, a la podcast. And we're going to just go from there. We're definitely going to be having some fun. We've already been having a lot of fun. So without further ado, John, Spence, welcome. Let's uh, let's talk it up, all right? So I'm going to be playing some videos in the background. And as you guys talk, as we all talk, I'm just going to be playing shit in the background and, you know, charts or whatever you guys want to provide. So... What do you guys want to talk about? I was thinking we'd just keep talking about what we were talking about, which was... Well, it was XRP. <laughs> oh, you were? You were talking about XRP? Oh, that's a great way to start. That's a great way to start. Are you guys XRP Are you guys XRP fans, or, or what's the deal here? Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> you know, I'm such a big fan. It's, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's definitely going to be the, uh, the next big thing. It's definitely not, like... The, uh, centralized completely by the company which uh, made it and it was gifted to the fire you know uh, it was gifted so it's, it's all good you know it's all gonna be good yeah yeah let, let me look at these charts that uh, they were posting so these are the XRP charts huh I see um, I see it, it seems to be falling to the ground is that what that is is that, is that ground is that well you know that's the best case scenario but you know we got we I think we'll get a little bit more torture for a few more years, you know. It's like the scam's not going to die just yet. Oh, yeah. so you don't think it's going to be like BitConnect? I think it's going to be like BitConnect. I think it's going to be XRP Connect. Nick, 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 Nick. That's my version. XRP Connect, yeah, it could very well be. I mean, they, uh, they have quite a, a following. You, they do? I, XRP. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. They, they, so I don't know. They were. They had. They had. They had like a community or anything like that. I wasn't aware. <laughs> they seem to. There's uh, some sort of army out there. X, X, an XRP army. I mean, I, I remember there was a lot of uh, XRPers out there. You know, talking. You know, like uh, a little while ago. You know, they were all over the place, but they just seem to have disappeared. I just I wonder. I wonder if they went down. Uh, anyway, so we're looking at a chart here. We're looking at the second chart. And I, I, I saw somebody else talking about this earlier, and it's true, you know, it seems to be going like these big pumps and then dumps and then little pumps and dumps and pumps and dumps. So we're, we're looking at the chart here, and um, I see this yellow squiggly thing. Is that, that your your prediction for the next pump and dump? As it, as it, goes, like, straight, as it goes straight it to the like ground? My, it was like my three options. The red one would obviously be my like, most preferred option, going straight to zero. But, okay. you know, it could go straight up, it could go straight up. All right, and, and like, and, and I want to ask you. I mean, you know, I want to ask you like a serious question, guys. You know, I know we're just fucking around with uh, XRP and shit here, but like, um, why why do you think that XRP is is making these moves in in the downward direction while every other cryptocurrency has been going up in the upward direction? Well, I mean, it is going up right now. <laughs> 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 I have the memes. I got the memes you guys put there. <laughs> In the last two days, okay. been up, uh, what, uh, it's been going crazy. Okay. 1,500 Satoshi. Is it okay, so I mean, you know, this is gonna this this is gonna air two days in the future, probably. So, what do you think? Oh, yeah. What do you think is gonna be two days from now? Okay, so you so see, you wake up January first. Uh, 2019, you see XRP. 2099, is that what you said? 2099? Oh, January 1st, 2019. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, and then you see a 10,000 store sheets, and then you wake up, and really it's, uh, <laughs> it's the 15th of May, and uh, it's all, all the way down to 5,500. So, yeah, it's only like a 45% down, or, you know, it's not too fucking... Uh, not too fucking bad, but, you know, they're celebrating this little okay. 5% upwards movement at the minute. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, the, the, by the way, guys, you know, by for, to the audience out there, we're not going to be talking about XRP the whole fucking time. It just happened to be the last thing we were talking about. But it's just like, I mean, that's a good point that you make because, you know, Bitcoin and, you know, pretty much every other asset, but definitely Bitcoin, um, it's had its troubles, but it definitely hasn't been going in this direction, right? In fact, what are we at now? We're like at 8,000. What do you think we're, we're going to be at by Friday? 10,000? At this rate? 
by Friday. Oh, maybe it could be. Uh, nice. I really don't know. I think um, I don't want to call it. I think I'll call it. I'll call it. I'll call it. Ten k. I mean, like, what do I have for my? When did you want? To, yeah, by Friday, Friday. Or how about the by end Friday. of the weekend? How about the end of the weekend? Uh, end of the weekend, so it's the 15th. Yeah, how about by Sunday? What do you think it'll be by Sunday night? I'm going to say 10K. 20th. 10K. We're going to be pushing 10K by the end of the weekend. Uh, I hope not, man, because I want to buy some more. <laughs> come, on. <laughs> come on. Yeah, I mean, we'll be pushing 10K, but... Uh, well, think about it. We're around 9,600. But, but think of... Oh, you think we're going to... You think we would... We'll get close to 10k for real. Uh, possibly. I mean. Yeah. I mean, I see a pullback. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I don't think it's gonna keep going up like up. You know, it's just I think like obviously the the further we go up, the the more the pullback. I think I think the stronger the pullback. But again, even let's just say we get to 10k and we pull back to like I don't know 8k, 7k. You know, is that really like a bad thing? I mean, that that'd be I'd be trading in some Litecoin. You know, right? <laughs> You know, I, I would like to pull back to like 5,600 right Yeah, no, everybody. No, yeah, there's people out there that are still wishing on fucking 1,500, you know, so. Well, yeah, I, I'm hoping for like high 5,000s at this point. Like, that would be a gift. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think so, too. I think it'll be a gift to everybody. And then that's the thing. You know, I think that now everybody's in that same kind of mindset. So with that being said, like, um, it, it's, it's, as we, you know, as we dip lower, people are going to keep buying, so I don't, you know what I mean, that'll prevent from us going lower, you know, as, as we start dipping lower, and, you know, when I say we just have a big retracement, it, it's, it's not going to be sustained, and I don't think it's going to be, like, uh, going down for too, too many days straight. Well, sweet, you know, I, I think we'll, um, we'll see, there's so many, like, crazy things that could happen right now, overnight, which could send it any direction it could, so... It's a really critical point, I think, at the minute. It's, it's getting a lot of attention. So there's only... I really think we're not quite there yet to kind of keep going, but hopefully we are. Uh, what I'm looking at on the BTC chart is... Um, so I've got us currently in a... Uh, kind of testing the top of a, an upward channel. If, if you have any links you could send, man, you know, it'd be great so I can show the audience. Since yeah, uh, yeah. since I'm like fucking I'm a, by the way I'm make, I'm doing this stuff yeah I'm doing this stuff for a lot of you guys out there because as you guys know I'm not a TA guy meaning technical analysis I'm not like a big guy on price I'm not like a big guy on anything but I feel that you know every we we got to be informed on everything no matter what so this is why I'm creating you know today's episode and we got John specifically the crypto mystic. <laughs> as you guys know I'm out there and uh, and I say that and I and I say that um. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying. I got <laughs> Anyways, I lost my train of thought. But regardless, the point is I'm doing this because I know there's a lot of you guys that are in the same boat that um, are also kind of like amateurish. And uh, we would like to know more and then get informed more. And, uh, you know, maybe we can do something in a little bit of a more fun environment, I guess. I don't know. And then for all you guys that yeah. know what you're talking about, you guys can call us out on our bullshit. <laughs> but, like, uh, you know, I do that all the time. That's right. Strictly, uh, strictly speaking, this is all just like short-term stuff. Uh, I believe whatever you buy right now will be like a million times more. You'll be more grateful for doing it now than if you don't do it now. And then five years time, you'll be regretting it. So anything you get now will just be amazing. Right, right. If you're thinking long term, I agree. If you're thinking long term, you know, just buy. You know what I mean? Like you should. You I'm know what buying, I mean? like, yeah. I'm buying every week, regardless of right. what the prices, little amounts. Yeah. And I think everyone should do that. But it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even so the I dog agrees. Little, even your dog yeah, agrees. Yeah, yeah, he agrees. Uh, yeah, I buy. I buy monthly. Um, I held off my last one because we were going so high. Uh, I wanted to wait, but. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm, I'm in the same position. I mean, I just want to wait because um, uh, if it is some kind of, you know, I kind of wanted to make sure what was going on first, but I've been so busy with work, it's been hard to try to be busy every day. So it's been some crazy news after crazy news. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, I mean, it seems like the bull run is here, the bull market is here, and uh, I mean, uh, regardless of any retracement, I mean, I, I don't see why, you know, all the news that we're listening to, you know, just like I was talking about in the my live show, my live show the other day, you know, talking about, um, 
uh, what's it like that? That uh, what's that shit called again? The the thing from the Gemini twins. Oh, uh, Spedden. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Sped, Spedden. Spedden. Speedin, Spedden, whatever the fuck it's called. So you know whether we got this or now. It's supposed to be like spend, but misspelled like hodl is like hold. Yeah. That makes sense. You know, they're trying. They're, they're trying to be cool, bro. They're trying to be cool. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to be cool with the kids. You know, where's that meme? Yes, you know, we need that yeah. meme of, uh, what's his face? Uh, of Steve Buscemi, you know, with uh, acting like a, like a fucking 16-year-old. They should have done, like, Spendio or Spendium or I don't know. <laughs> But um, but yeah, I mean, look, there's a huge, Spendatron. huge, yeah, for sure. No, no, I'm sure there's a billion other names that would have been better. But I mean, regardless, you know, what they've done is uh, pretty. They beat backed to the punch, is what it seems, and uh, you know, backed. Um, everyone's always talking about like backed and like backed futures and all that shit. But reality was that when we broke the back news like a fucking year ago, whenever the fuck it was, you know, we were talking about literally this. You know, the fact that you'll be able to pay with, uh, you know, pay for regular things with crypto. And uh, these guys have done it. The guys, uh, the Winkle Boss guys, you know, the the Facebook guys, you know, they've been able to fucking figure it out, and uh, and they got this. And now, you know, John, you know, he said that he tried to use it, and um, it's, uh, it's still like in beta, so you had to go by like invitation only or something. Yes. Um, yeah, they're still in beta. So in order to actually get an account, I mean, you can install the app, but uh, in order to log in, uh, you need to get a. Uh, invite from somebody who already has an account they say to like follow them on twitter and you might get one that way or but my guess is that it's that's where all the people with the invites are and so you might be able to convince one of them to give you one yeah for sure for sure i'm playing the meme that spence just supplied for us here yeah that's pretty hot but that's pretty much it right there that's pretty much what's going on right now for sure bro I mean, I agree. I mean, Bitcoin is king, and that's pretty much at the end of the day right now what's happening is that we got to realize that what's happening right now, why Bitcoin is going to, uh, you know, um, then exponentially um, increase in value um, in comparison to the other alts is because, look, right now, I think a lot of people that are getting into Bitcoin more than anything else, you know, they're, they're getting into it out of uh, necessity. You know, kind of like uh, how people are getting, you know, buying gold or silver just because of the times that we're living in and the situation that, you know, is traversing all around the world. And I think that, you know, a lot of people are just going into gold, I mean, into into Bitcoin, just like if it was gold. And um, that's pretty much it. I mean, honestly, you know, everything else at this point, outside of a few projects, is just basic speculation and investing. And um, a lot of people out there, they just don't have the money for investing. They got to feed their families and pay bills. You know, they just don't got that kind of money. So if they're going to put money away. They're going to put it away in something that is going to be like a savings account, you know, or like gold, you know, so that's Bitcoin. Yeah, because it is micro savings at the end of the day. You can invest yeah. like as little as, I, I don't know what the cash app minimum is, but $5, $10, but... Uh, yeah, it's like a real thing people can do now, so it's, it's yeah. really cool. Yeah, I mean, that's what I, I did, started doing two years ago. I didn't have any money, and so, like, I just started buying little bits uh, as I could. I mean, not, I don't have a whole lot now, but <laughs> I think uh, I think for, hopefully it'll be a little more soon. For the amount of people that did lose money, um, FOMO in hardcore during the end of 2017 and getting really trapped up at them high ends, like them high like 17,000 to 20,000 ranges, even though they've, if they've held on the whole way down, they've learned a lot on the way down, and they yeah, that's me. <laughs> Yeah, man. I mean, for reals, you know, how many people... I, I was there, man. Yeah, I mean, how many people bought at 18K, at 20K, you know, like a lot. And, uh, you know, they're still holding on. So, and yeah, I think... My, uh, my portfolio is still, well, finally, like, most of the last year or so, it's been at, like, 75% down. Uh, I'm finally looking at, like, 35% down. Okay, uh, well... Which is pretty good, considering that I've also spent some of that crypto and... Rough. Etc. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I'm sure you've been buying all the way through the, you know what I mean? Through, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So now it's like making up for it. So, yeah, yeah. Savaging in, um, yeah, fuck yeah. Every month and, and, and so it, can you can one of you guys explain cost averaging? You know what is uh, buying? You know through cost averaging. So you know out yeah, there. It's dollar cost averaging. I mean, it's just a really basic uh, idea that you're. I mean, the basics of it is that you just you keep buying regularly, regardless of whatever the price is, and that way. 
no matter what the prize does, because uh, <laughs> maybe I can't explain it very well. But I mean, the I mean, the basics is just just buying over time, distributing your purchase over time rather than buying a whole bunch at once, and then that ties your the value that you put into the um, to the cost that it was when you bought it versus distributing it out, and then it's um, the amount the amount of risk that you are exposing yourself to from uh, the swings of the market is reduced because you're coming in at these varying levels of price. Okay. Well, or, or in layman terms, like what happens is, is like if you buy every single week no matter what the price is, then you're going to always even out. At the end of the day, if you're doing it as a, as a savings account, it's always going to even up because you're going to be buying at $3,000, you are going to be buying at $8,000, you are going to be buying at $20,000, but, you know, again, you're always going to be buying. And if you're in, uh, if you start buying, especially during the bear market, so, for example, if someone that started buying, I don't know, in mid-2018 mid, mid uh, two, 2018 and has been buying all the way through till now, you know what I mean? They're probably doing per, sitting pretty right now. And so that's the thing. It's just the dollar cost average. And um, even if you've been buying at the top, just like John, where John has been buying at, you know, he, he bought at the top. Not at the top top, but he bought, you know, pretty close. Pretty close. Right. And then he yeah. bought, yeah, he kept buying all the way through 2018. And, and it, now it all evens out. You know what I mean? And then at the end of the day, once we go past 18, 20K, he's definitely going to be, you know, sitting real pretty. So. Hey, grab me a loaf of bread. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, you want me to? Actually, dude, you know, like the other day when my girl was here, we went to, because I never go to these guys, you know, for whatever reason. I'm just a fucking American. Anyway, so, you know, but like I went with my girl the other day to get some, you know, fucking, uh, you know, some bread and some shit, you know, because they sell sweets and bread and all that shit. Dude, man, it's like four, four, four pesos per bread. So four pesos is like 25 cents. And, bro, they're so good. They're like way better than the ones at the bakery. So, oh, I bet. yeah, fuck yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, I mean, just, you know, they're, they're great, you know, just FYI. Um, but um, what the fuck are we talking about? But, yeah, we were trying to explain uh, dollar cost average. Uh, uh, Spence, do you want to give it a shot? <laughs> well, I mean, I think the whole strategy is that you, if you believe in what you're investing in, you understand the technology, you could understand that even putting a little amount in now will benefit you so much more in the future because of the way everything's going. So... By the time maybe you want things to change, you, you will start to think about making a difference, then your investment will make a change for you because it's what you put you. It, it's kind of like a belief for, for a lot of people. Like, they, they're only kind of. A lot of people would be destroyed if the project would fail and it would be tragic, but it's so strong. I, never, I don't believe it will now because there's so much invested in it. Yeah, it's like any other investment at the end of the day. And right now, you know, you're we're investing in your future. Like, again, why Bitcoin? I compare it to gold more than anything else. It's like anyone out there, anyone out there that's a saver, okay? Let's like look at it like that. That's what Bitcoin is really yeah, exactly. kind of for. It's, it's like saving, you know? You're saving away um, gold or silver. But the reality, look, the reason I'm bringing up gold and silver is because a lot of people out there, they don't save U.S. dollars anymore. That's what a lot of people would save, you know? They would save in dollars. But nowadays, you know what I mean? You can't really save in dollars because, you know, they're, they're, by the time that you cash them out, they're worth less than when you put them in there. And when you, would like, say, look at Bitcoin, you know, let's just say that you put, you know, money in it two years ago or whatever the fuck. When was the top of, when was the, the 20K? Let's just say you put money in it, you know what I mean, at 20K. You know, it's, it's a savings account. So even if you lost money, like any other investment, like a mutual fund, like uh, any other, you know what I mean, investment in the stock market, it's eventually it's going to, you know, play itself out and it's going to increase in price. You know, again, you know, dollar cost averaging. If you look at price of gold, for example, you know, sometimes it was like $800. Sometimes it's been the thousands of dollars. You know, there was a time and, and period like uh, 30 years ago where, you know, gold was eight, over $800. And right now it's what? It's over, it's just $1,200. So if you're looking at it, you know, gold is like a fucking buy, buy, buy. You know, but gold should be at 12, I mean, at 10 times the price it is now. So if it's at 1200 and you buy it now, it's going to be what? You know what I mean? It's going to, it's it should be 10000 or what 11000 or whatever the hell, you know? And, uh, sorry, I suck at math, you know? That's why I've got John on here. Anyways, and, and Spence. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you, you know, at the end of the day, that's that's what all this stuff is about. You know what I mean? It's, it's really basically savings. But when you're talking about 
other, you know, when you're talking about crypto project, let's say you're investing in EOS or you're investing in Stellar or you're investing in even XRP, you're investing in a project. You're investing in like, you know, Microsoft or Amazon or whatever. That's the equivalent of that. When you're investing in Bitcoin, you're kind of like investing in gold. If you're investing in Litecoin, you're investing in silver. You know what I mean? And that's that's kind of like it. This is more like savings, you know? And uh, again, why we go to gold and silver for savings in times like these is because we cannot trust the dollar anymore, the fiat, the paper. And uh, I mean, what do you guys have to say about that? I, I, I think it's, um, it's definitely seen in different lights by different backgrounds and from people from different areas because uh, I know you obviously have that strong belief in the uh, people seeing it as like a store value like gold and silver and things but then there is also the side of where there's people which are purely investing in it because they know the future um, implications that it will have on society inevitably. And what, what are these future on. implications? Of, what is the future implications of Bitcoin? What, what is it exactly you know besides disrupting the obvious system and again it's not just bitcoin when people i think when people talk about bitcoin just you know disrupting the system it's basically you know a bitcoin and everything that came with it you know the whole paper you know the whole trail of all the stuff the coins and all these you know all these projects and that's the the, the, the major disruption so uh, i think it's simply just a tool which can empower people to believe in themselves again where we can live as a union of people which believe in the same thing and can trust each other rather than take all this um, uh, trust that we neglect from one another in these uh, centralized systems which basically just destroy us and control us from the inside out so it's kind of just a, uh, a side a hedge against the, uh, the mainstream against the status quo. Well yeah I mean yeah, I, I, I agree with you 100% I totally agree with you um, to me, I think that that's kind of like what Bitcoin represents. It represents uh, this mm -hmm. empowerment around the world to people that, you know, all of a sudden they're not going to give their savings, their money to the government anymore, to to their, you know, um, uh, to their currency, you know, and they're buying Bitcoin. So, for example, um, when you're looking at Venezuela, people were buying Bitcoin because they didn't trust the Bolivar, the hyperinflation. When you go to Argentina, they're doing the same thing. When you go to France, it's like, you know, again, the big movement of buy Bitcoin because they don't trust the currency anymore they don't trust that shit and um and it's a modern version of gold that's why you know they keep the reason they keep bringing up gold is because that's what people used to do people used to buy gold when bitcoin didn't exist the thing is that now we're living in a digital world and then that's why we need a digital currency and uh this is where bitcoin comes in mm. it's um it's definitely something which uh people are going to talk about for a long long time and it's never really going to um, slow down i believe but it's a really good opportunity for us now to kind of get hands on before the rest of the world will because uh, we all know what the end game is and what will happen. Yeah, for sure. The, uh, the ball's rolling. For sure. Look, man, to me, like, again, it's all about accumulation and why accumulation? Because there's going to be a point in time where Bitcoin. It's, we don't know what the fuck exactly is going to be worth, you know. We, we can just speculate when we say gold or whatever, but we don't. We really don't know like the power that that shit could hold, you know. By having it and uh and you know that's a reality and uh and and, 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 the, and the same token it might not have any power at all you know what i mean because some government entity goes out there and buys all this bitcoin and now it's worth nothing so we got to be using fucking uh dash <laughs> you know <laughs> or whatever bitcoin cash oh my god god forbid i'm doing the you know what is it i'm doing the price sign yeah, here bitcoin you know? cash forked today. it forked again what do you mean bitcoin cash forked again <laughs> are you kidding yeah, me yeah there's some sort of fork uh, thing. I don't think it was uh, necessarily on purpose. I'm not sure. What do you mean, Bitcoin? What? what huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. What do you mean? I didn't know anything about this. I'm dead serious. Like, what do you mean, Bitcoin Cash? Somebody posted in the in the uh, post somewhere. But I, oh yeah, it was you. Oh, I found it here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I saw that, but I didn't know what the fuck it meant. I don't know. I was dumb, too dumb to understand that shit. Repost. Yeah, I mean, God, I don't it? really understand it, but... So what's going on? Do you guys know? Oh, no, uh, I can find the post why it's about the chain. But, uh, Bitcoin Cash chain has split into two chains. A hard fork occurred at block 582,679. However, since the block upgraded and non-upgraded notes have split onto different chains, the Bitcoin Cash network 
may not currently be safe for payments. Ha! Huh. So yeah, it's basically fucked itself. <clears throat> yeah. So Bitcoin Cash is broken? In a way. Uh, uh, in a way, I mean, there's two active chains. The one minute, the minute that I talk something good about Bitcoin Cash, look what happens. I break it. I fucking broke it. You shouldn't, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like, it's like crossing the streams. You, you don't well, want two you chains. Have a, have a, have a recommend. Unless, like, yeah. as a, as a backup. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bitcoin. It would not work. Like, it's so ludicrous. It's, it's almost like blasphemy. I hope Roger Rivera forgives me. <laughs> sorry, bro. Fuck, man. Anyways, but yeah, man. A lot of interesting shit, but again, you know, Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin, like, you know, it's, um, the, you know, the reason that we really hold it, you know, it, it's just, um, I think it's more like digital gold than anything else, because again, even in the future, I think that, you know, just the fact that it's on a ledger and all that shit, it's like, um, just think about it like this, you know, like, um, you'll be able to, it's wealth, you know what I mean? It's what gold was, is what is replacing gold in a way. It's again, and I don't think it's going to replace gold all the way. I think there's going to be a space for gold and silver, but it, in a way it is replacing gold, you know, because like now all of a sudden you'll be able to have this digital gold on this dead, on this digital ledger where everyone in the world can see how much Bitcoin you have, AKA how much wealth, AKA how much gold how rich you are, how how powerful you are, that kind of shit, and uh, and it's like you don't have to keep this stuff on a in a vault, you know what I mean, where it can be taken away from you or what have you, you know what I mean? It's it doesn't have to be in a physical form per se, where um, someone can take that away from you. It's it's uh, I don't know. I think it's it's it's, it's, it's so many things that we're not necessarily thinking about um, because. We, we haven't been there yet. I don't know. It's just such a new thing that it's uh, it's kind of crazy. It's mind blowing. I I feel. I think. Yeah, I, I I don't think you're suggesting that it's good to have everyone know how much everyone has in wealth. But I know I understand like what the message you're trying to say is more towards. Uh, but I mean, think about it. Just like right now, like let's say uh, Bezos, you know, the richest man in the world. You know, he would be. You know, how's he rich? He's rich in dollars, but. You know, in the future, he's gonna be he's gonna be uh, measured in Bitcoin. He's gonna have that amount of Bitcoin. He's gonna have to acquire that amount of Bitcoin in order to really accrue wealth. Because if he's just if he's just um you know sixty trillion dollars, I mean sixty trillion dollars, uh, whatever the fuck he's worth right now, but in dollars or whatever other cryptocurrency or whatever other currency, it might not be as valuable. And you know what I mean? It's like you know, it's like right now I can say, look, right now I'm a I'm a millionaire. I don't know if you guys knew, but I have like fucking like a hundred billion uh, Jose coins. I mean, you know, I'm sitting yeah. pretty, bro. I'm sitting pretty, bro. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I got a lot of money. But so you know what I mean? But it's so the same shit. You know what I mean? So I think in the future it's gonna be something like that. And uh, sure, he you know his Amazon tokens or whatever the fuck you know he has are gonna be worth something, but they're not gonna be worth that Bitcoin. And then on top of that, that Bitcoin is gonna be worth even more because it's gonna be something that's gonna be difficult to acquire per se because people are not gonna want to be moving these things anymore. You know? I don't know. So you know, I think there's a lot to that. You know? I, I mean, what do you guys think? Yeah, I mean it's. Um that's kind of like the beauty of it nobody really knows so that's why everyone's so kind of engrossed in what's going to go on but um, I, I totally agree with what, you, what you're saying like uh, definitely it's going to be uh, something like the likes nobody's ever seen before yeah I mean we're on the uh, well I, I imagine that uh, us being in this space we're all kind of more future thinking folks so I mean but we're at you know, in such an early stage of such a, a new technology. Um, and, yeah, and there's there's so many possibilities and directions that we could go. Um, and uh, I mean, it's super crazy early. You know, look at uh, Verge oh, yeah. coin. You know, we got fucking porno coins. You know, we got fucking pot coins. You know, we got all this, all these things, all these projects of people making all this shit. And like in the reality, you know, they're, they're not worth anything. They're not, they're not going to be used for that. You know, there's not going to be a coin used for a purpose. I think that once we get to that point, we're going to be creating those coins. You know, meaning Pornhub is going to create its own coin. You know, just like J.P. Morgan is creating its own coin. Just like you know, the city of Seattle might create its own coin. Just like Lambo is going to have his own coin and you got your own coin and we all got our own coin and that's how we're going to all exchange value. And then we're going to all agree on certain things like uh, Bitcoin as, as the gold 
as the the measure of wealth and 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 other things and you know for example you might have some uh some tom cruise coins and those things are worth a lot of money you know that kind of shit i mean we don't i mean just things like that and i know it sounds kind of weird but i think that that's oh, the sweet. world i think the i mean i think the ecosystem that will have will look i mean will not necessarily look like that i mean there i think there will be elements of that but i don't think it'll uh, necessarily be as like cut and dry as that, you know. Like, uh, you know, you're gonna have different classes of crypto assets. Um, you're gonna have currencies. You're gonna have securities. You're gonna have tokens. I mean, I mean we have a, a lot of these things already. You're gonna have crypto collectibles. You're gonna. Oh yeah, uh, I agree with you. I agree with you one billion these, percent. They're gonna work yeah. and operate possibly in, in different ways, but I mean, obviously, they're all gonna. Have, they're all kind of tied together through these various forms of cryptography, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, but they'll. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we may. Uh, <coughs> hey, do you think a hundred k by the end of the year? No, I don't think so. No way. I, I think so. A hundred k. One hundred k by possible, the end of the year. But well, unlikely. I. Uh, what did I... Why unlikely? Why unlikely? We actually do suffer an actual crash and we're in a bull run and uh, there's so many things coming down the pike that would want to make people get Bitcoin. Why wouldn't it go to 100k? Well, I, mean, it, it, I, don't, I don't think it's ready yet. Well, I mean, it's going to drop. I mean, it's going to go to 100k. It might drop all the way down to 20 or yeah, less. I mean, it, it might, but... I, I think so. I don't see why not. If it really, I mean, if it really got some crazy traction and, you know, the whole mempool got totally flooded again like the back end of 2017 it could right. really damage it like hardcore you know all that volume it's it's not scalable to that kind of like influx just yet i want that to happen but like i'm scared of it happening at the same time yeah and i don't think it will be because because of how um how shocking the last like crash quote unquote was uh, to most people in the in the retail space, um, but I don't think that they're the majority of people are gonna you know gonna really flood in like we were kind of starting to see the last time. I, I beg to differ. Be much more slower and in stages and phases, um, and we're just gonna we're gonna continue for a while to see this uh, just this extended climb. Uh, up and up, um, but I do I do forecast like currently that I see us um, hitting probably 22k in, by mid to late October. That's that's what my call is currently right now. 100k. <laughs> we we know we know Jose we know. <laughs> I think I think so, man. We're gonna do it. I don't see why not. Yeah, I mean, uh, because there's not, a, I, there's I a, there's so much like the uh, thing is that there's a lot of turmoil going on around the world. There's a lot of uh, yeah. hyperinflation. You know, right now, um, uh, a Bitcoin, a Bitcoin in uh, Mexico is like 160k or more. You know what I mean? So, I mean, uh, I, I think so, man. I think uh, I think it's gonna get to that price. I really do think it's gonna get to 100k, and uh, I don't see why not. I really don't. I mean, there's just too many things going on. Again, the only the only way it won't get to 100k is if we don't suffer like some sort of uh, economic downturn, economic crash, recession. Type shit. If we don't, if we don't, then yeah, I don't think we're gonna get there. But if we do, then yeah, we're gonna get there. Let me say this: there's there's knowns and there's unknowns, and then there's known knowns and known unknowns. But then there's unknown unknowns, and those are no good. No, 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 no. Oh wait, that's something else. I was thinking about something else. Uh, know your current events. Remember that? Anyone? No. Letterman. Anyone watch Letterman? But do you know that that's a quote? No. Yeah, that's like uh, too, what many, is it? too many. Too many knows. No, Rumsfeld. Rums. Donald Rumsfeld. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, especially with um, the U.S. government, you know, Mr. Sherman coming out like last week and saying literally. Literally, the reason why Bitcoin is so dangerous. What makes you think that the the world, the world, you know, would not be on track to start pursuing these fucking things? Because, like, just think about it. Right now, 
let's say, uh, uh, you know, presidents of uh, the, around the world, you know, that are like Iran, for example, but, you know, like other countries. Again, remember, Venezuela has explored this with the Petro, and it does other, like, so other countries that are dif uh, suffering difficulties with the U.S. right now, you know, they're now going to be listening to, listening to that shit and be like, oh, wait a minute, really? Can Bitcoin do that? Can crypto, that crypto shit do that? Hey, can we get some guys on that stuff right now? And that's what I think. I think it's like, uh, I think it's going to start turning the tide. And regardless, even if it's not the governments per se, they start like, you know, uh, creating their own uh, value, their own coins so that they can, um, you know, get around sanctions, get around the dollar, get around that whole deal. You know, a lot of people are going to start doing that. And it's not going to be with Bitcoin, obviously. You know, it's going to be with uh, other cryptos. And, uh, I don't but, but, know uh, how many Venezuelan watching senate committee hearings but i hear what you're saying yeah well like the whole thing with venezuela like uh, you know ever since that even maduro has banned bitcoin and uh you know and uh you know, there's no you know all the backlash against crypto within venezuela has only created more use in venezuela you know the and the worse the economy gets the more use it becomes and the more use there there uh you know comes about so right now in venezuela you know you're looking at dash you're looking at bitcoin you're looking at a lot of coins out there and, and you're looking at like the data you know of like the usage and it's like across the board and there's a lot of people in that in you know in venezuela using crypto and and same as Argentina and same oh, yeah. as all these other countries, you know, which are, you know, they have no other choice. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we're not using it in the states. We're just using it for trading in the states, and we use it for trading in a lot of other places. But when you're looking at other other places, you know, like in like in India, you know, they're actually using it as a currency. A lot of these things, or a store of value, one or the other. Because right. again, just think about it. Yeah, that's good. I mean, just think about it. Even in Venezuela, you know, you might not be using it per se to you know to eat. Or to you know to, to pay for bills, but you you might be using it to save money because as your currency devalues, no matter what the price of the Bitcoin in dollars is, it's still going to be more than whatever the fucking Bolivar is, or whatever the Argentinian peso is, or whatever the Turkish lira is, and shit like that. Amen. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Buy Bitcoin. Anyone? You gotta buy as much as possible, man. I mean, I'm just like looking now, like thinking, like, uh, what's gonna go on? There's so much going on. I am. I need to catch up. But if it's only gonna get more crazy than it is the last few days, anything can happen. Oh, uh, really? Anything can happen. Yeah, of course it's gonna get more crazy because you know, look at what's happening with the Trump and China deal. Look what's happening all over the, all across the board with all kinds of shit. You know, it's only gonna get crazy. It's only been getting crazier. Name one day in which things have slowed down or gone backwards. Not once. Mm. It's only gotten worse. This 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 uh, snowball is only getting bigger. The last time we had, well, the last time we had a red day that was three days ago. Yeah, you should look at the weekly. Well, I mean, no, no, I wasn't talking about like uh, like uh, I, I'm just talking about in the long run, you know. Like I, I'm just yeah, talking no, about yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not talking like. Uh, and I was talking about things in general when I when I went crazy. I mean, I know you guys were talking about price. I guess I. I was talking about something else, you know, not price per se, but just crazy things in the, in the world. And I think that, yeah. that that's that's what's going to dictate price. I mean, honestly, you know, more than anything else, it's it's the need, you know, the necessity for these things. Uh, as people start waking the fuck up and things start getting worse, you know, like I think a lot of times, I think a lot of times when you're seeing these major buys or pumps, I think it's just people that are cashing out, you know, people that are in the stock market or people that are whatever invested in uh, bonds treasuries you name it that are cashing out and just buying bitcoin or whatever i mean who the fuck knows mm. it's uh, there's so much information out there at the minute where um, it's kind of like uh, overwhelming to the people that have just come into it so it's kind of uh, up in the air where people will end up who they'll be listening to that's why it's a bit difficult to judge because you don't know who's recommended who to uh, what kind of advice to give in, so it's a bit, uh, yeah, up in the air out there, I think, at the minute. I mean, you know, real, you know, before you know it, Venezuela is going to be paying Russia for services rendered through Bitcoin. I think right now they're not really, you know, interchanging anything because Russia is giving them, uh, you know, aid and giving them arms and in exchange for oil or gold. 
but like in other countries, like in uh, Argentina, we've already seen you know major purchases from one country to another country in Bitcoin. You know, like purchasing uh, you know corn or soybeans or whatever the fuck you know uh, mm -hmm. for Bitcoin. So you know we're we're getting there. Yeah, it's uh, it's something that which I wish I couldn't stop. I, I can't stop looking at it, but I wish I could because it's just something which I want to. Um, I'm really glad that I'm so busy with work sometimes, you know, because when all this news is happening, uh, I'm fortunate that I wasn't sat worrying whether I should uh, sell off some some profits to try and grab some more, which is I'm fortunate for hopefully because some I know a lot of people would have. Uh, sold off at uh, 6,000 and you know they'll, they'll be really upset at the moment I think yeah I, w I would be upset if I I sold um, a significant portion I mean I was very I was fairly I was not crazy about the fact of actually spending a little bit of my profits uh, like a month ago when we first started going up but I've already gained all that back in the last in the, in the, in the next month that followed so it's it's like I'm good <laughs> yeah, it's it's a uh, it's interesting the way it goes, but I I think the more I've kind of been, uh, I don't think you can ever stop learning about what's going on, and the more you do learn, the more you do kind of uh, deeper down the rabbit hole you go, you kind of uh, appreciate what you're actually um, interested in. And I was reducing all my positions in alts like a while ago for the last months, just because you kind of underappreciate what you've what the main goal is and when you remind yourself what the end game is it's to no brainer that you shouldn't be uh, gambling something which you've got easy access to today mm -hmm. yeah it's all about stacking satoshis for me i i diversify into alts but mm -hmm. uh, but the end goal is always to funnel that back into bitcoin with profit and so actually there's a number of alts that i I'm holding right now that uh, I've been holding for quite a while because I bought them at not all-time highs, but um, at highs back uh, at the as the market was coming down. Um, and so, uh, actually, probably most of those I've gotten rid of, but those are more like kind of midway. And anyway, they've gone down so much that uh, they're just I'm just holding back. So. Uh, <clears throat> so you know what? How about this? Uh, can you guys? Uh can you t tell us your favorite coins? Uh, outside of Bitcoin, I'll Yeah, everyone's Bitcoin favorite coin outside. is Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin number one. But what, uh, uh, John, John, can you... Favorite old coin. Well, I'll, uh, I, I won't tell you my favorite coins. Is that I, don't, I mean, my, my favorite coin is Bitcoin. Um, but I'll, what I can tell you is like some of the things that I'm holding and, that, and things that I'm looking at pretty closely right now. Um, so obviously Bitcoin and Litecoin, um, I follow them very closely. Uh, Tron, but uh, I would like to, I'm Tron. not happy with with Tron uh, and stuff I've seen from Justin. So uh, I'm probably going to be. <laughs> are you talking about uh, are you talking about uh, like from a trader's perspective? Is that these are your favorite coins, traders' perspective? No, I'm not. I said I wouldn't. I won't tell you favorite coins, but I'll tell you okay. some of the ones that I'm holding and that I'm looking at. Okay, okay. From, but, and yeah, from from a, a trading perspective, I guess, because that's generally my perspective. I'm okay. Not really. Like you know, I'm like my overall perspective is like Jose, but there's an opportunity to make money here and I'm not going to deny myself that opportunity um, and so that's why I, I do that as well but the end goal is always to have more Bitcoin um, so <clears throat> uh, so yeah Tron is one that I'm watching but uh, like I said I'm looking to exit out of that I think it's really going um, the bad way yeah, uh, it's not very good. <laughs> excuse me Stuff there, my throat. Um, a V chain uh, is one that I am always watching. Uh, AGI, which is Singularity.net, uh, was the uh, it's the AI um, oh, yeah. guy that was on Joe Rogan a while back. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was following him and the Sophia Robot uh, long before 
I ever saw him on Joe Rogan or whatever. But, cool. Um, but I think his project's really interesting and stuff. So but that's like way super future. Same with my next one, which is Iota. Um, I watched that one pretty closely, mainly because I've lost a crap ton of money on it, mm-hmm. and I want to make it back. <laughs> um, and then, what, Ontology is another one that I, I watch regularly. Uh, EOS, Stellar, uh, and then Binance Coin, and, uh, and Vibe, just because of their, uh, they've got some crypto gaming stuff that's looked kind of impressive cool 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 that's pretty much it what uh what i'm holding and watching uh, there's some other ones but they're not really much to mention at this point okay what about you spence you got anything um you know like um, i really only follow um bitcoin stuff because i ultimately think it's the only thing that's gonna matter but obviously i do have a few positions in uh in the XRP? Yeah, well, obviously, <laughs> you know, I'm a big fan of that one. But, um, no, I, I honestly, I, I won't even try it, just out of principle, because I just think it's like, fucking, I mean, it's stupid, because you can make a lot of money fucking off that shit. But, uh, uh, I don't know, I guess Ravencoin, you said totally. Um, you know, there's no, like, CEO or kind oh, of... Oh, shout uh, out, shout out to Raven. Guys there, so they're, um, they're kind of, like, out there and... It's its own protocol, and that's a cool project. Like yeah. uh, doing all the asset thing, which I think will probably be built on Bitcoin eventually, anyway. But um, and then the other the other one which I'm really uh, into, which I actually represent, is um, Ether One, which is a, a decentralized uh, master node network which hosts a decentralized internet. So basically, uh, okay. you can have uh, immutable websites that can't be. Uh, DDoS not taken down, so it's like. Is it is it Ethereum or Ether One? No, no, it's a it's its own Ethereum chain, like not okay. um not an ERC twenty token. It's off the Ethereum uh, blockchain build, and uh, yeah, you, it's. Is it like e- is like Ethereum block. Classic or or no? It's a uh, it's just the Ethereum build, so it's the same um it's the same platform, but it's, it's completely on um. Okay, like Litecoin, like Litecoin, like Litecoin is the yeah, Bitcoin. Exactly. Yeah. It. It's, okay. It's kind of like okay. its own, its own chain completely. Okay. And, um, okay. Uh, yeah, that's concentrating on hosting websites, basically decentralized across the network nodes, and people can host websites without, you know, it takes literally um, three minutes to uh, upload anything onto the network, which is essentially uh, recorded there and it can't be uh, removed, which is a really cool concept that I like for. Uh, Pro uh, free speech, and letting people get a message out there and do whatever they want because it should be a free internet. So that's another one which uh, is my favorite. But that's about it, really. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Okay, yeah, well, well, me Bitcoin is obvious, but for me, like I guess like the one project that I would pick since we all just picked, I guess one project would be EOS, man. I don't know. I think EOS is the the fucking game changer here. I think it's one of the game changers, but I think EOS is. Uh, it's going to be pretty fucking awesome. And uh, just because of the fact that, like, it's already done so much in less than a year. Because it's not even a year old. It's like 10 months old or something. And uh, it's already done so much and built so much. And uh, it's only getting started. And um, they're, they got the right idea. And uh, there's going to be more projects like EOS. You know, as, uh, you know, John mentioned Tron. And we got Cardano. And we got others. But I, I think EOS is... Uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's the king right now. I don't think anyone can dispute it, and uh, and it's kicking ass and taking names, and uh, fuck yeah, you know, like that's what I think, and I, I, you know, yeah, I just think EOS is awesome. I'm a big EOS fanboy, and uh, I'm really, really looking forward yeah. to seeing all the stuff that they're gonna keep creating. There's really like a, a race for the um, who's gonna be the uh, the big platform kind of network and there's a lot of them competing at the minute so I think this year and the next year and probably a lot of years after there will be a big um, a big race to who's going to be the uh, the big network everyone wants to build on well I mean I think I think I, I honestly look I, I think that right now it's going to it's EOS uh, everyone's you know moving from Ethereum to EOS but look I don't want to sound like an EOS fanboy I think there's, there's enough room for many chains we can't have just one we're going to have many 
You know, just, to, you know, we're going to have diversification. We just have to. Or we don't want, because otherwise it'll be centralized decentralization. You know, I don't know if that makes any sense. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, we need to have many. And when they let the people choose, you know, there's going to be different, you know, uses and different, uh, yeah, different use cases for each individual one. And uh, people are just going to use uh, whatever protocol is better for them. It, um, it's really like, this is all like, um, we can't even think the way it's going to go. If right now there's nothing, what we can see in the real world, that these applications are making an effect. So it's only something that we can kind of judge once it's gaining momentum in the real world, so to say, you know, where the regular person is kind of implementing this technology in their day to day without even knowing it, you know. Oh, yeah, no, I feel you, bro. I mean, we're, we're moving in that direction because, again, they, that's why I give praise to EOS because they've already created apps and created, uh, you know, um, you know, like again, like a decentralized Uber and uh, what other, you know, there's a bunch of other ones I'm, I'm like I'm forgetting right now. But regardless, the point is that like, a bunch of, uh, you know, other apps, I mean, dApps and a bunch of other um, things are already being put into play. Like, again, just like what we were talking about with speed in. And uh, what they created with the Gemini Network, and we've already had BitPay, and you know we've had a bunch of things, and you know we're all, you know we're we're working on it. You know what I mean? Like it's it's uh, right now, like um, it, it's like you said, we don't have enough data, you know, in order to like really, you know, know where certain things are going. But uh, but but we're at least uh, starting to accumulate this data because we've already had uh, projects that have exactly. been failed, like, you know, we have successes and failures, and and some that are just launched, and uh, and so on and so forth. And uh, it's exciting times. And I think right now we're about to hit, you know, as the bull run hits, you know, we're going to see a lot more with mass adoption uh, because as uh, people, you know, um, start talking about Bitcoin again, then, you know, all of a sudden then uh, people are going to want to know what, you know, these other projects or apps or dApps or whatever the fuck, you know, are and uh, and so on and so forth. And uh, it's going to be exciting, interesting times. That's for sure. I think EOS is going to hit 100 bucks by the end of the, not by the end of the year, but eventually, eventually it's going to get to 100 bucks. EOS. Yeah, that's it. It's a, I guess it's a, the more conservative bet to say eventually. I guess you got to live in there. Well, I mean, I'm not. I don't, I don't want to fucking say like a hundred years from now. I'm just well, saying like know, within know, a, you, you know, that. maybe like a, a year's know. time frame from today, maybe. How about that? Yeah, I mean, I don't think um, I wouldn't like to build better than anything being any price in a year's time because I just I couldn't call it. I mean, I. I, I I, it's too early for me. To who knows? Be, who uh, knows, man? Who knows? To be invested in, in this um, this hype that's going on at the minute because uh, I don't want to be heartbroken again, you know. So I kind of want to just I want to wait for a bit longer, man. I think it's too easy right now. There's too many people still here which should have been shaken now, you know. But who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? I agree. It's it's very sketchy at the moment, but I mean, it, there's a lot of Signs that um, I don't know that that we're that we're not gonna crash down again. But um, yeah, sorry, I'm not formulating my thoughts very well. No, it's right okay. Now. It's okay. We'll, we'll we'll see what Lambo has to say. Lambo, what do you think? This is no more no more bears. I ate all the bears. I chased the bears away. It's bull season, baby. So. Lambo says bull season. Yeah, so he must, he must be right. I trust him. I'm telling you, bro. Trust me. He sucked a lot of bull cocks. <laughs> he knows. They're ready to go, man. That's why he knows. <laughs> yeah, he does. So Lambo Lambo says uh, bull run. I mean, we all say. I think we all we all say bull market. It's just the very beginning of it, and uh, you know, uh, might be a little rocky, but no one can deny yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, we, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Uh, sit here and, and be arrogant enough to think it's going to go straight up. I, I think it might be a long drawn out affair, but this is the yeah. start of the turnaround. Well, that's what we want. We would want a long yeah. drawn out affair and then eventually like a large pump, you know, but we want a large drawn out affair because that's how we're going to get to 100k. Because there will be impatient yeah. people which are jumping in now thinking that they're smart because they've got first in on what's going to happen and then it takes another year to take off, then they're going to get shook out just before the next one. So it's it's a perfect scenario, really. I'm telling you, we we can hit twenty k. We can hit twenty k by summer. When summer? When is summer anyway? I know summer's like right now for me because it's finally over twenty degrees Celsius. So oh, well, well, it's it's, it's somewhere it's, around Memorial Day, which is coming up. When's that? 
I'm a Mexican, bro. I don't know. Summer here all yeah, year I round. Don't know. Yeah. I don't know what Memorial Day is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. A couple weeks. Let's see. I guess a next of weekend. I, I guess July. It's like summer. Yeah, I'd be. I mean, I don't know. Google knows. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's going on? Is that. Are you looking it up? Oh, you know? Are you, you looking know? it up? No, I don't know shit. What do you know? You know? I thought you were looking it up, oh, man. Oh, bro. I don't think it, I'm looking it up. May 28th. May 28th. All right, so no, no. Google, right. Oh, I got, yeah. I got it, bro. 28th. Too late. Too late. I got it. May 28th. Yeah, 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 yeah. May 28th. All right, so May 28th. So no, definitely not by May. Okay, how about June? Three weeks. By June. How about, how about this? By the 4th of July, we'll be at 20K. Fourth of yeah. July. Yes, sir. No, that's, oh, Jesus. No. It'd be hard till 25k. October. 25k. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to 25k by the end of the You're month. Crazy, but, bro. But 20k, definitely huh? 20. 20k it's by like then. A, Why not? It's like John McAfee 2.0. Yeah, you're gonna eat your meat. Uh, what do you mean eat my meat? <laughs> I, I eat my horse meat. I eat horse meat. You got <laughs> rumble, you eat your manhood. Like Look, don't you see like his thingies cut off? It's because I ate his meat. I lost a hundred k bet from last year. So, no, we're gonna yeah, we'll, we'll be at twenty k. Why not, bro? Look, if we get to twenty k in by July, I'll sound like a genius. If we don't get to twenty k, <laughs> nobody's gonna fucking even remember. So who gives a fuck? There you go. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, I'll say twenty. 22k by mid October. Nah, no way, bro. Nice. By the time we get to October, it'll be like we'll be pushing 60, man. <laughs> no, I, I think I think 6k in October. Oh, 6k in October? No, 60, yeah. 60. No, no, I think six. Nice. I think six. No way, man. Wake crazy, up, bro. bro. No way. I think six. Okay, well, it's, it's recorded now, so it's forever. Uh, we'll get this. We'll be by 60K by October. As soon as the, the fucking uh, stock market crashes, all that bullshit yeah. happens. And then That's we'll... Then by that time... October. Yeah, but yeah, by that time... Yeah, six, we'll play this back then. Look, if we're at 60K by the time the stock market crashes and everybody's in fucking panic mode, by the time, you know, by the time we get to December, we're going to be at 100K easy, bro. So take that shit to the bank. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, uh, I still... I still think 6k closer to... Uh, it's no, man, closer get out of here, bro. Like boo, that. boo, we don't want that negative <laughs> shit, bro. Get the fuck out of here with a 6k, bro. You just want to buy more. Yeah, I do, man. I do. Buy it now, bro, buy now. Uh, buy it now. Dude, I can't now, bro. I wish I could. Just wait till it goes down. Yeah, yeah no, exactly, no, bro. Like, well, you know, once it gets to, like, over... Look, once it gets to over to 100k and beyond, it might drop, have, you know, drastically, and then we're going to start keep going up because... uh. Uh, the happening. When's the happening again? Uh, next May. year. When next year? May, I think, so much. Oh, really? So like a year from now? Oh, get the fuck out of here, bro. We're gonna That's blow. Today, yeah. We're gonna blow, blow past 100k, bro. Mm. Uh, I, I would hope so. I think McGaffey's know, right, bro. I think Mc, when, when did McGaffey say he was gonna get to a million? End of 2020. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's over a year. 373 days. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to get to a million by then, bro. Well, it'd be something. I agree, bro. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I, I don't see why we wouldn't. I mean, look, like... This, don't listen to me. I just got a fucking plastic horse behind me, all right? Giving me, uh, right, stuff, okay, you know, giving okay. me fucking advice, but I don't know. I'm just saying. It's just the dream, you know? That's right. A, dream, a boy can dream, bro, right? Moon boy. Yeah, but, you know, even if it got to that, I would still think, like, shit, do I really want to fucking, like, like, give the shit away. Like, fuck. Oh, you greedy okay. bastard. You greedy bastard. Give it away, yeah. man. No, uh, you know, I don't want to fucking give it away for paper, you know? Like, for, oh. you got oh, the yeah. ultimate fucking currency right there. I agree uh, with I you. I agree that with it you. It would be adopted before I have to, like, cash out, you know, fuck. I really just want to, uh, the only stuff I'm invested in is so I can use it when it's like fucking, actually fucking there, you know, and it'll be fucking appreciated by then. But we'll see.
Yes, sir. I bought, oh, excuse me. I bought hey, are we boring you, bro? Are we fucking boring you already, bro? Uh, yeah, oh, already Jesus. Oh, this fucking geez. guy, bro. Kill like 3 p.m. in USS. So. You're killing me. You're killing me, uh, Smalls. Four, it's 420 right now. You're killing me, Smalls. Is it really? Oh, yeah, it four, is. It is 420. PM. It is 420 over there. You're right. Yeah. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Yeah, like you know, you smoking some indica, bro? Are you smoking some of that indica? Some of that, that kush kush? Uh, some GDP, granddaddy perk. Yeah, that sounds like an indica to me, brother. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah like uh, like the last month, you know, uh, my guy brought me some indica. And that shit kind of, it was great, but it was, you know. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. You, but now, <laughs> this guy brought me like some sort of, sort of sativa hybrid. I don't know what the fuck he brought me in. Oh, yeah, Looking good, know, man. It's like you're in crack, dude. Well, I mean, I'm happy for a bunch of other reasons, you know, but regardless, uh, <laughs> you know, the fact that we're going to be at 100K by the end of the year and shit like that, but. <laughs> Stuff is too much. It's too wishful. It's too wishful, people. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. We're going to make it. Oh, God, that's like fomomium. I'm overdosing of opium. Like it's just fucking don't, don't miss out, bro. Don't every everybody yeah, around the world. Everybody, every, everybody. I'm telling you, everybody around the world. I don't know. I can't say. But, but you, anyways, regardless. But you know, you, you know what? Like the, the best thing is, is that like we're not gonna miss out because we're like fucking we're here for it. You know what I mean? Like, we're here. But, Are we queer? Get used to it. Yeah, yeah. Get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we beat the bus so yeah, like a couple of years. You know, like we're. We're still like at the bus hell. Like, when does the bus get here, man? I'm telling you, man, we're it's gonna. It's awesome, man. It's, it's, it's good to be early adopters, no matter what. And uh, it's gonna be awesome, man. It's gonna be an awesome future, I think. Oh, I, I, really, uh, I don't know what the fuck I was I talking really, about. <laughs> I feel any way. I'm just trying. Uh, I just hope it would come sooner rather than later, but it's on its way. I think so, man. I think so. We're on our way to 100k and back into a million. <laughs> John McGaffey, for sure. So, hey, who are you guys going to vote for? Are you guys going to vote for McGaffey? Well, I can't vote for him. Why, bro? Are you a felon, bro, like me? Well, I'm not a, an American citizen, so I can't vote Actually. for a president. Actually, I'm not a felon or anything. I'm, uh, I've been no, proven, I've been proven, yeah, bro, yeah, exactly. I've been proven uh, fucking not guilty. You're a not man. even not guilty, You're bro. You're a reformed. What, uh, yeah, the case dismissed, you know, whatever the fuck. Jose Freeman. Fucking. Anyways, yeah, right. So, but anyway, yeah, so what do you think? Is it going to be McGaffey or Bernie Sanders or, or Tulsi Gabbard? I listen to Tulsi uh, Gabbard and uh, she, on the podcast with Joe Rogan. I, ho- I hope she gets elected, but it seems like uh, she might also get suicided. <laughs> I thought who, who she was till you said that. I was like, oh, she's a presidential candidate. Okay. Yeah, man, but from, she's... Uh, what was that? From, uh, from like a UK perspective the only guy I've heard about that's running is that um that Asian guy that Yang what <laughs> you know, no, I don't even know who's running other than I, I heard Bernie's running again that's all I know oh, well, who's that crypto guy the, the guy who's like uh, talking about Bitcoin and shit Satoshi Nakamoto he's going for president I don't know yeah yeah he's that's who I'm voting for Satoshi vote for Satoshi uh, oh the the Bitcoin guy is McGaffey bro no, stop McGaffey. Bro, it's McGaffey. Uh, it's, not, it's this guy. <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh. Let's see. <laughs> Andrew Yang. Oh, Andrew yeah, Yang. Look, look at all the guys. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Fuck, man. Yeah, this is the guy who wants to, like... Well, it's kind of like, you know... Do you really want this guy fucking endorsing me? No, Bitcoin man. I don't want... I don't want that, shit, guy's, uh, that, that guy's all about the universal basic income and shit. There's no bueno. But he's the only guy talking about fucking um, Bitcoin. That's what he's doing. Well, why yeah, I'm, but, you know... But, 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 I mean, I don't know. I don't think he understands... Does he understand Bitcoin or is he just talking about it or what? I just... When you said the Bitcoin guy, I was referencing this guy and you were referencing, like, McAfee. So that's, right. that's why I got confused. Cause okay, I've done it. You know. So, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> okay, I went to his website, right? And, <clears throat> I mean, I, okay. What website? What website? He's, he's Asian, right? And like, I don't, I don't have, a, I don't have a problem with. And I'm not racist. I love, I love Asians, but he's Asian, and he has this this meter on his site, and 
I assume. Well, maybe it's. I guess it's not him. I assumed it was him. That's the. There's a little cartoon guy, and it's him, and he's wearing a hat, and it says math. Like, yeah, that, that's his slogan. <laughs> what? That's his, it's his <laughs> slogan. Well, he can do that because that's he's right, not. He I'm can't call. Like, he, yeah, so yeah. Confused what's happening right now? Yeah. It's his slogan, man. <laughs> but yeah, math. this guy, this fucking yeah. guy right here. You know, he wants universal basic income. Oh, I see. Make. But, you know, you, I, 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 if we get universal basic income, you know, that's how we're going to get, um, you know, with the universal basic income, that's how we're going to get to fucking a million, a billion fucking dollars of Bitcoin. Oh, he was on Joe Rogan. Oh, I guess he's having all the guys on there. Math. Oh, my goodness. I hope, I hope he doesn't get it. <laughs> he's the guy which all the oh, fucking God. People are fucking going crazy. Well, it's him and McAfee, the Bitcoin fucking enemies. But why do they want this guy, bro? Probably just because he's mentioning Bitcoin. I, I never even heard of it. But when the fuck does he talk about free Bitcoin? Money, dude. But when does he talk? Oh, he's, he's talking about free money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why people Get want your it. government handout. Here you go. Yeah, but he once again universal basic income. So, good luck. Good luck. I used to think that shit was a good idea. Yeah, yeah, until you realize that that's hyperinflation. They call that helicopter money, guys. You guys know what helicopter money is? That's when the government oh, drops money from the sky, a.k.a. universal basic income. <laughs> Slavery. That's right. If the government gives you enough, then why would you want to leave the plantation, boy? I mean, you're good right here. So, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> good luck with all that yeah, shit. So I don't know, man. I'm just glad that I don't fucking see that shit every day in the news. That's like American news must be brutal. I don't watch that crap. What's some? Yeah, that's a <laughs> fake news. Fake news. But people watch that shit. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I know. Uh, fucking watching. <laughs> Let's see, is this a, a, a meme? The, the worst, it's not the people watching it, it's the people that believe it. That's the one you gotta look out for. Yeah, it's pretty, um, pretty scary. But yeah, I mean, we're going to be heading that way because, again, like when we're looking at, uh, at, the, at Trump and he's like, oh, we're going to do 25% tariffs and all that means is that everyone is going to be paying 25% more on everything. And then, uh, you know, still, even if you're, like, for example, everyone buys Chinese in the U.S. right now because it's cheaper. So if all of a sudden there's a 25% increase in your Chinese product, um, you're, you're only going to stop buying it if it's still, you know, if it's worth more, you know, if it costs more than, the, than like, American product. But guess what? Even with a 25% increase, my estimations are that it's still going to be cheaper. So all you're doing is just paying more for your cheaper Chinese products. You're welcome, Trump. Well, <coughs> that's Bitcoin. <coughs> Keeping it gangsta. Oh. So yeah, man. Oh, I uh, don't know. I can't follow it, man. So I won. So it just, it just doesn't interest me at all. It's like arguing 24/7. Just, yeah. Just buy that Bitcoin, and you don't have to worry about any of that shit. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I mean, but I mean, at the end of the day, all this stuff matters because all this stuff is what's uh, kind of, you know, for people that are wondering, you know, what's uh, going on with the price and how, you know, where the price is going to go and all this shit. You know, you can speculate all you want, but if you really, you know, you can speculate all you want with your triangles and all your, your lines and all this shit. But at the end of the day, you know, there has to be a reason and a use case for this shit. And the reason and the use case for this shit is uh, the world falling apart, you know, literally. I mean, you know, just to put it in layman terms. It's obviously more complicated. That's what we talk about it all day here on the show. But, you know, when it comes to, like, something when you hear, like, oh, we're going to get free money. I'm like, o okay. Then why are you getting free money? But, you know, and then that whole discourse as to, you know, the reason that the government gives people free money is because they can't afford to pay their bills. So, you know, what's going on with the whole system? It's not supposed to be that way at all. But, I don't know. People just don't know. Hello. Bye. Hello, hello, fly, we fly, hello. hello, but people just don't get it, they don't get it, they just think the government is there to, 
take care of them. Yeah, well, it's uh, sometimes there's nothing you can do about it, really. It's just, uh, uh, nah, don't be so pessimistic, bro. We're doing something about it right so. now. We're talking. We're, we're creating this show so that people can be aware of the fact that these things are happening. And then, uh, you know, they, they're, I, not, they're not so gloomy. Well, and then, they, you know, a few of us will rise up and do something about it. Like, you know, Lambo just joined the crypto army. He's, uh, he's going to start. Uh, I don't know what the fuck he said he's going to do. But he said he's going to go to some restroom, you know, off the side of Guadalajara. And he's going to start, uh, you know... What's those things called again? Those uh, those holes? But anyways, I I'll leave no it there. <laughs> <laughs> the holes. <laughs> you guys don't know. You don't know what I'm talking about. Those holes that they have at the rest stop. You oh, know, no at, the, at the at the the bathroom like stuff. <laughs> no, no, not that kind of hole. <laughs> I'm talking about. Uh, I think I think I think they're kind of religious. The religious. Then they uh, call them like no, glo yeah. glory holes, I think. Ah, yeah, yeah, those yeah. glory holes. Yeah, those glory holes. <laughs> Math. Those glory holes. He's gonna run one, so like. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Something. Yeah, I don't know what I was saying before, but something <laughs> about Lambo and a glory hole. <laughs> Is he playing catcher or pitcher? No, he's uh, he's pitching. Oh, wow, that's good. What's a fucking horse, bro? I mean, think about it. Just think about it. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine you're fucking traveling through Mexico and you stop at a rest stop and you go to the bathroom and then you see a, a gigantic horse uh, <laughs> sticking through the stall and you're like, you gotta really take a dump uh, and that's the only stall open. And everybody uh, else is and everybody else is pooping tacos, you know, that they ate from their breakfast that morning. And it's Mexican, so you know, you've been to Taco Bell. So imagine like a whole stall, a whole bathroom full of people do, you know, Taco Bell shits. And uh, and then you got that thing just hanging over your head there. Yeah, uh, and then the, the guy in the wheelchair comes out and he's like, God, that's like the flimsiest handrail that I've ever seen. And oh, it got all slippery. <laughs> And this is and this is how the Jose show, you know, this is how it gets uh, off the air forever. You know? <laughs> so slippery. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. I have a hot Taco Bell. <laughs> For the border. It's like having, uh, I think it's like having curry. Well, like, well, Indian food. Right. That's that's yeah that one. Really, Taco Bell. You know, the results you get after you eat the Taco Bell is what I'm saying. You know, like, yeah. you know what happens after you eat yeah. a lot of Indian food? Like, in my, uh, well, I don't know. I guess, uh, I don't I know, guess, not, not my, like, taste really I mean, good. I guess American people will shit themselves by uh, the uh, reaction. But I don't know. <laughs> it's alright for me. But you, guys don't have, you guys don't have a, you guys don't have a food. Hey, listen, you guys don't have a food that makes you shit yourself? It's an old American food. There you go. <laughs> and with that, and with that, I think we're gonna end it here. <laughs> because it's true. I'm in Mexico. And the only thing that's giving me the fucking, you know, makes me run for the border yeah, is when I eat McDonald's. Of course, of course, Taco Bell. So will that? Do we'll... have Taco Bell's down there? No, we don't. <laughs> God. God. Oh. No Taco Bells out here. No, that no would ta be funny though. Oh yeah, man. Hilarious. Hilarious. So All guys, right, yeah. All right, boys. So I think we'll, before we get you banned from YouTube. Yeah, right. Well, I think <laughs> well, you know, I think I'll be all right. I think uh, we were discussing, you know, we were just discussing uh, things, you know, that happened. You know, we weren't discussing anything horrible. You know. Yeah, it's true. No, there's a lot of stuff. Like that. You know, we we got uh, we got uh, John over there falling asleep, and uh, even though it's uh, four. 37 over there p.m. Yeah, and we got we got we got uh we got spence and it's like fucking like three o'clock in the morning and he's wide awake you know so yeah. i don't know what the fuck is going on but regardless that's the world we live in man regardless i gotta get i gotta get lambo ready for his shift at the at the rest stop as you know he's uh 
He's uh, he works a vending machine. You know, he works at. Uh, nice. Yeah, you guys know when you go to those fancy rest uh, re- restrooms and you have like the attendant in the in the bathroom. That's what Lambo does. He's a bathroom oh. attendant at a rest stop. <laughs> he, should, he should look into bikini baristas. That's good yeah, thing. yeah. I mean, I, I I when I used to live in Seattle, I, I went to a few. Uh, they were interesting. But uh, but Lambo Lambo just provides uh, you know the donkey show sometimes you know if asked, but that's separate. Uh, even because he's a horse, he's not a donkey, so you know you would have to talk him into it. But anyways, yeah. as I was saying, you know uh, Lambo has to get ready for work, so I'm gonna get him ready, and uh, I gotta get his chaps on and all that good stuff. So uh, <laughs> with that said, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. And, and John, John, where can people find you, John? Is there a place? Uh, Crypto Mystic on YouTube right now. All right, hold on, hold on. We gotta find this. What up, Crypto? All right, you know um. Mystic. You got the Crypto Mystic. So look, we got Crypto Mystic with his own channel, and he does TA, award-winning TA, right? <laughs> yeah, the Jose Award. That's oh, right, that's right. So I give, I give him awards, and uh, we got him there. And then uh, where can we find you, Mr. Spence? I got a link. Oh, you got a link. Oh, you actually do have a link. Okay. I'm, a, I'm an award-winning shit poster. Oh, there you go. And then really. I know. Oh, we got, we got it. Okay, there we go. It says, look, it, it was. It said, are you sure? Are you sure you want to go here? So then this is Spence right here. You can follow him on Twitter. He's an uh, active Twitter follower. Uh, he's an active Twitter Twitter. And uh, if you're lucky, you might be able to interact with him. You know, I think you'll be all, uh, you know, if you say, say hi to him, uh, he'll probably be like, uh, hi. And uh, you can go from there. So there's Spence. All right. You can pause the fucking video if you guys want more information. We got the Crypto Mystic on YouTube. And we got me, Mario. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, I had a brain fart. But you got me on YouTube as well. You guys already fucking know because you're watching this shit. So, anyways, without further ado, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please don't forget to wash your balls or wash that, that sand out of your... Oh, man. And uh, we'll catch you guys wow. <laughs> later tomorrow. <laughs> How can you be so tired? <laughs> it's all those fucking burritos, bro. It's all those fucking burritos he's eating. All of Taco Bell's, fuck. Oh, that sandwich. He had a sandwich, right? Give it a rest. Yeah, turkey sandwich. Look at that. Oh, the trick to fame. The trick to fame. Oh, yeah, yeah. Turkey, yeah. That's probably what it is. All right. Well, okay, no more turkey sandwiches. For no sure. more turkey sandwiches. All right. All right, guys. Say bye, guys. Say bye. Okay, bye, see guys. You. That's it? Oh, Spence? Oh, okay. Right, whatever. Okay. Yeah, man, I suck at this. Bye, guys. All right. <laughs> I said, see ya. I think we both said it at the same yeah, time. Right. <laughs> you guys suck. You guys fucking suck. <laughs>